I need to start push down now. I did not do the recording countdown right at all. Yeah, it's the last three seconds are supposed to have, or the last like few seconds are supposed to have like no. You're not supposed to say it. You're just supposed to like <laughs> mime it. But you know, it's okay. This is not oh, a professional five, operation. Did you start recording yet? Yo, yeah, it's recorded. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I could try it again, but like, who needs to? You know? No, I just usually it tells us. I, I didn't see that. Oh, it shouldn't tell you. No. This is what? a this is a secret recording. Why does I just never tell us? That's like zoom to... when it t zoom tells. True, true. I did not mean to just roll. I did not know why. No <laughs> worries. Dude. Are you rolling? Why are you rolling? Oh, no, really weird. Dang. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just gotta finish, um, roll, speaking of rolling, I gotta finish rolling my secret blend of herbs and spices. Oh, yeah. great. I'm actually, that's a perfect idea. I'm right. going to take a moment to specially operate this bowl I've got loaded. Just <laughs> <laughs> specially. Yeah, I'm about to breach this packed bowl. Explosive <laughs> wardens. They yeah. don't call me a green beret for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah. Are you a ranger? What are you? Let me pop your description. I can't even remember. It's like Delta <laughs> Force, something or other. Your special hey, operative right. joint special operations command. JSOC? Del Delta oh Force. Joint. Literally, literally a fucking JSOC badass. What yeah. a fucking guy. Yeah, Delta Force. Noemi, Noemi Acosta. Oh, God, dude. Um, I couldn't even, couldn't even hit that lady. Okay, I gotta so, grind my backstory at a point, but everything yeah, else is Yeah, I think we have enough to, like, get us started, you know what I mean? Like, work. sometimes we can let that stuff emerge as the story is being told, and... Right. That can be fun. Well, I'm gonna roleplay the shit out of this. So. Um... Nice. So, <laughs> I think that we need to start with a little recap of last time. Not a huge one, because we're in a new operation. The operation finished last time, so we don't have to, like... Uh, you know, I'm fully recap everything that happened, but there was a few things at the end there that uh, Bear repeating and, and also Bear kind of figuring out. So I'll start. If anyone wants to jump in, you can. So last time was the conclusion to an operation where your team went out to the Yosemite National Park and to investigate a boy who went missing i think 40 years ago uh and somehow has returned but is like still a child and <clears throat> whoa yeah while investigating this you guys um you guys came across some entities that were seem to be after this child and they seem malicious in intent, although you, you, you never really figured out what their deal was. Um, but you did know enough to know they wanted the child. You had the child that put everybody in danger. This child also seemed to like display some supernatural properties. Anyway, you guys are like, we need to get this child the hell away from these regular civilians. We need to get, yeah, we just need to like isolate this thing and leave so you guys do but unfortunately you get like this tag along one of the rangers at the the park rangers uh kind of tags along with you he's like yeah you can use i don't know did he take yeah he was the driver you guys were like in his car or some shit yeah yeah i couldn't convince him to like us to go yeah he came with yeah so you guys are like driving with the boy, you're driving with the ranger, and all of a sudden these like one of these entities like jumps out at you. Well, and... after trying to strangle him. Oh yeah, you tried yeah, you tried to oh, You tried to strangle him because he was like he's in too deep. Um oh, man. you gotta take him out a starty so yeah. he's yeah. in too much. Smack his face. <laughs> So <clears throat> uh, one second, guys. It didn't feel great to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I failed the roll to like choke him out to make him pass. Yeah, out. yeah. Oh, well, so, well, so, so you failed the roll, so did he like you killed him or like you just sort of shittily like oh lightly no, like, knocked him out? Yeah, take like, over oh, for me oh, for a second because I'm fixing the stream. 
This always happens. Yeah. Like, we need to take someone alive. I remember we were playing Cyberpunk and like we fucked that dude up in oh, his yeah. basement of furries. Yeah, we like ruined this guy's yeah, life, probably. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, stream Incredible. is Incredible. Stream is fixed. Um Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not being streamed, sorry, but the recording is fixed. Um So what was I what well, where were we? Oh yeah, you guys were trying to strangle the park ranger at that exact moment one of these like alien like entities kind of like or it's actually a child jumps out like a, a weird child thing like jumps out at you Gross. he actually drives masterfully is able to stop but then kind of like realizes he was being choked out and like is pissed but then you guys knock him out you're dealing with these like weird like zombie looking children who are approaching you and just like clawing at the car trying to get in trying to get towards the boy that you guys have Brandon McGill and eventually you're able to like take care of all these little children <laughs> zombie things you're able to like i think take care of at least one of the entities and you guys like get away you're just you, you're, you're in the rain you're in the mud you're like on these like national park dirt back roads and your car is like stuck in the mud as like, a bunch of these entities are like approaching you and then finally like just in the nick of time and due to some lucky rolls you guys were able to get away with the Let's boy go. and that's with kind the of boy with the boy and that's kind of where we ended because this boy is well i think what did you do with the park ranger you drugged him no he was just like no we knocked him out like really badly yeah and then you put and then you made him like eat drugs i think to make it look like he, he was like a drug it. addict and was gonna like not fit yeah to, yeah and he, had to, and he like kind of woke up again, and I'm pretty sure we just. I'm like. Yeah, it's like a nobody would ever believe him type of situation, uh, to try and like discredit his account of things, um, <laughs> which was that was pretty smart, I thought. Uh, and then yeah, you guys drive away with the boy, and I think where we left off was that Joe Bear was gonna take care of that. <clears throat> Joe Bear. Yeah. yeah, Joe Bear is, for anyone wondering, is our... Oh, I mean, do you, him, uh, do you want to explain him? Do you want to explain him? Joe Bear, Joe Bear uh, works for the IRS CI, oh. the Criminal Investigation Service of the IRS, as a field agent. Uh, he, since he joined Delta Green, he's kind of retired more to desk work, but he's also always out, you know, doing the Delta Green thing. Um, he was an orphan uh, as a very young kid and was friends with a guy who obviously like who ran the orphanage because he i think he grew up out of that or really don't really have that part nailed in yet That's but okay. you know he has he has friends with someone at an orphanage in in sort of uh swamp louisiana where he's from um so uh, my take on it was that he was gonna go drop the kid off there because obviously you can't like wander around with this kid who's not yours um but also we didn't want to kill him we we all couldn't kill the kid i think at the end of the game yeah that was a struggle you thought like that you so you know that this kid is should be 40 years old or 40 something years old 46 or whatever it is i think or eight whatever that's insane yeah so you know he should yeah, be 48 right. years old yeah that's, that's some, that's some x files sure, like, that's like, that is weird it's pretty pretty boned yeah so i think our first home scene and and I want everybody <laughs> to be thinking about your home scenes real quick before we jump in. Joe Bear, spoiler, it's going to be with you figuring out yeah. <laughs> this situation. It doesn't have to be too crazy, but um, in the need to know guide, there is um, uh, a, a section on home scenes. It starts on page 39. It's actually only on page 39. It's like the last paragraph in the whole... Well, not the last paragraph in the whole book, but um, on page 39 is the last paragraph, and it tells you, like, what different things you can do during the home session. Um, Indy, your character is new, so you probably don't really have, like, these things going on right now, because you didn't... <laughs> it's supposed to go, like, Operation Home Scene. But, sure. Indy, if you want to do, like, an improved stat or skill situation, I might modify it a little bit, but basically because all these other guys have been on missions, 
they, they've had like a little bit of skill increases so i want to try to match that for you and not you know it's, it's it's only like by a couple points each but so people okay, should just sure. be thinking about like what they want to do and the the options are fulfill responsibilities which can help your bonds um go to therapy and you can either lie about the unnatural traumas or tell the unnatural truth which can help that can all help heal your san you can study the unnatural and you can try to improve stats or skills as well okay um so just try to think about what you want to do and i think you get um two per mission or per like home time so <clears throat> but yeah so it, it now ian i want you to kind of set the scene what does this orphanage look like down in down on the bayou in louisiana <laughs> So it's not directly on the bayou. It's okay. definitely off like one of the local highways. Yeah, that <laughs> makes sense. To the bayou. It'd be really buggy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so bugs. Lose bugs an orphan to a gator in the bayou. <laughs> All right. So I imagine that, like, <laughs> it, yeah, the or I imagine the orphanage is like kind of its own freestanding building. Totally. Yep. Um, like off, kind of out of town a little bit. And I can picture it's like a very hot muggy day oh by the way it's well the mission will start in october but we'll say this is like yeah this is the weekend this is like the, the monday after july fourth weekend um right so right that'd be monday july 6th 2020 and let's say i see we see a car like an old sedan driving down the road Kind of this like long swampy off-road towards a freestanding building and it, it, it approaches and you know crawls to a stop and we see agent joe bear in the front seat and a young blonde boy in the back looks like our friend brandon mcgill in fact is our friend brandon mcgill and he looks a little confused a little worried and Mr. Jobert, are, are we? Are you sure this is going to be okay? <laughs> oh my God. Well, son, I, I think so. You're going to be in good hands, and <laughs> I, I, I know this this man almost, and he looks definitely wistfully, you know, like into Brandon's eyes, like in the rearview mirror, but then also out towards away from the orphanage. My father. Mother. <laughs> and he uh he just gets out of the car <laughs> he just gets out of the car and goes to get the kid's door he doesn't want to talk about it anymore uh any more than that so to speak he just you know oh, gonna be okay. okay okay and then the car door like closes and you're at his side door it almost happens like super fast he's like not ready and he's like not getting out on his own I, I leave the door open and I, I go to the trunk and I, I, you know, open it up and I get a bag, his bag out, you know, that has some kid clothes in it. Yeah. That's for my old gym bags. So, um, yeah, this is like stuff you've maybe picked up like in the morning or something. Yeah. Yeah. On the, on the ride down there or however we got there. Um, and, uh, I, <laughs> I tell him, you know, look, it's, uh, It'll only be for a little while until you 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 look a little bit older um, than than you are, and I kind of stumble over the words because I know he's just so much older than he he is looking and acting. Yeah. yeah. Like, at the same time, um, you know, I'm I'm just trying to fumble fumble through it, uh, and uh, I I you know I tell him that you know one of my favorite things to do was uh, always going back a. Uh, out, out in the woods <laughs> and looking for for bugs under the logs. Um, <laughs> and, uh, reincarnation. Uh, yeah, <laughs> give him give him sort of like a, a Hank Hill, a yup. <laughs> I, I what? fondly remembering looking for bugs under logs behind the orphanage. <laughs> <laughs> And, and and what what was what, what, I'm sorry I don't remember what was I supposed to tell them. 
don't don't worry, son. Let, let me do the talking. Um, and I, I think we 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 head to the building because I've called ahead. Yeah. Um, and okay. the 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 man who runs the or, the orphanage uh, is expecting me. Um, okay. And we're you know we're we're all close friends. So you walk um, up to the building on this. His name is Tom, Tomas. 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 <laughs> okay. So you. <laughs> Tomas. Tomas Thibodeau. <laughs> <laughs> Amos Thibodeau. Thibodeau, amazing. Okay, I'm so uh, you guys are like walking up to this freestanding. It's like a brick building. It looks like it's like maybe it was once a like a school back in the day. Um, and yeah, it's just this gray day, oppressive heat, bugs flying around, buzzing in your ear, bzz, bzz, and. Bzz, 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 bzz. And uh, you guys open. You guys approach these like, I imagine it's like big wooden doors, double double doors. And you guys go through. Brandon McGill being all timid about it. Um. And you get in, and there is, and as soon as you walk in, there's just an overwhelming smell of perfume. And the lady working the front desk, who's the same lady as when you were a kid, so she must be ancient. Yep. He goes, hello. How can I help you, folks? Uh, can I can I roll human int really quick to see if I remember her name? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I said Rebecca. <laughs> What's your alertness? Wait, what is your human? Oh, it's 80? <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'm sorry. You're not supposed to roll in these situations. <laughs> oh, you're right. No, so it is Roberta. I'm totally <laughs> right. <laughs> it's Roberta. Yeah, it's... it's um, uh, yeah, it, yeah, it's Roberta. And if you were going to wait any, like, or if you were just going to be observant at all, there's a nameplate on the, the like, kind of front desk as well. So. Oh, yeah. Roberta, receptionist or Good whatever, point. secretary, and yes, can I help you? <laughs> don't, don't you remember, darling? It's me, Joe Bear. Joe Bear, Joe Bear. Yeah, I can't forget a name like that, Joe Bear. <laughs> Never thought I'd see you back here again, young one. How old are you, by the way? Like, what is your age? I'm like, like thirty something. I'm like thirty eight. I have that somewhere. Uh, forty four. So it was like forty years 44, ago. Yeah. She was. You remember her uh, feeling? You remember thinking she was old back then? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the perfume is definitely covering up the smell of cigarettes. Um, uh, not very but... well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not at all well. Um and I and I said, Oh with Roberta, yeah, it's it's been a while, but don't worry. I'm I'm a little too old to be staying here. I'm not I'm not checking in right now. Uh yeah, I'm just trying to give her a little bit of the riz. Whatever I have left there. No, no, there's no way. No, there's no way. She's like, she's like an ancient orphanage clone, and you're rolling for riz right now. I'm sorry. Fast forward the home <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joe Bear, you've gotten quite handsome oh, as you've gotten older. <laughs> if you're staying, we could have dinner at my house. My husband's long dead. <laughs> oh, Roberta, no. Oh, I love your sense of humor, but I, I've got to get back to work and mention it. I wasn't joking, but... Uh... <laughs> if you're looking for Mr. Thibodeau, he's... uh. Well, he's in the back. Do you have an appointment? Uh, yes, yes, I do. I'm here to drop off, and I, I sort of grab him by the shoulders and sort of push him forward a little bit towards her. Brandon. Oh, and who's this little one? I didn't even see him there. <laughs> I'm sorry about this accent, you guys. Brandon. I have no idea. <laughs> I did not land on it. I think I switched like 12 times. Yeah, yeah I'm you're in New York. <laughs> Oh my god, that is hilarious. <laughs> I've given up on my southern Cajun accent. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's really it's, hard to do accents. Well, I'm not very good at them. I have to keep that one together, boss. <laughs> 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 I can understand it, yeah. 
Yeah, she like gets up from her desk a little bit because she like was sitting and didn't even see little Brandon there. <laughs> Where'd you find this one? Where'd you find I, this one? I I I I faltered for a second um, because I was still in the process of deciding whether I was gonna lie about him or not. But I think I am gonna lie about him. Um, oh, you're not and, gonna tell her that she's yeah. that he's 48. Yeah, no, I don't think so. I'm gonna dodge this one, sideswipe this one, and tell him that his uh, to, the, you know, put him to the side a little bit again and lean in, almost like I'm saying it aside to her, but it's really not aside at all. And I'm just, I just tell her that his parents were drug dealers in um, California, and oh, all their the drug now. dealers. They need the place to stay. Oh, oh no. Well, you know, they always have a home here. Anyway, Mr. Thibodeau, she should be ready for you. You could head back there. Um, yeah, I'm going to say that we, unless you want to actually do the meeting with Mr. Thibodeau, we could, like, end it there and just, like, you guys go into this meeting and we kind of fade out. I, um, I'm into that. I'm into that. It's solid. And yeah, because we, yeah, cause we don't need to have, like, the people. same conversation again with Mr. Thibodeau. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we can leave Mr. Thibodeau for another time. Let's just put it that way. And, I, and just to wrap it up, I do tell them basically, I think, that uh, he's, you know, um, yeah, tell Thibodeau that his parents died. Uh, they're, they're, they didn't die. They're in jail because they're drug dealers and laundering money because I'm IRS. Um, you know, it was a clean IRS takedown there. Um, and... <laughs> Love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the IRS he, cr I, I crime investigation. Tell him that, that they were giving him drugs, and he's he's showing strange abilities from the drugs. Nothing, yeah. nothing to do with any of the other stuff. Just so he's on 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 edge to look out for the weird stuff. Acts odd from the drugs. It's the drugs. Yeah. Yeah. Drugs. You have noticed that, like the, that. Uh, that like in your short time with him, it hasn't gotten like worse. It's actually gotten better. Uh, like he hasn't been displaying these like weird abilities at all, pretty much. Um, although he still that's doesn't like, except when he's sleeping, and that's the, but they're like minor, you know, when he's sleeping. It's like little things that you really have to kind of be paying attention to. Uh, well, I won't be paying attention to him because I'll be on a mission, and he'll be in Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He wraps uh, himself up real neatly. Okay, so I was thinking that we could just like make that one of the personal pursuits for your character. If, is that okay? Maybe okay, what, ful fulfill responsibilities, or we could make it kind of a fucked up version of going to therapy. Um, oh, I see what you mean. I forgot about the um the listings for him. Yeah. I think we're actually um, only going to do one that. home, home like, personal pursuit each. Okay, everybody? So, prioritize. Totally. Um, I forgot to pull up the manual. Which one do you think fits the best? I mean, I think fulfill responsibilities fits the best, but that, I, that restores your bonds, or can restore a bond a certain amount, but... So it's up to you if that sounds right. I mean, we can even like establish a new bond with Brandon if you want, or we could do therapy because that like reduces your sand loss or like in sorry increases your sand. And, um, yeah. So it could be like you know you feel like you're doing the right thing by finding this dude to like a finding this, you know. It's kind of like. A cathartic thing for you to like bring this kid to your orphanage, right? It's like the the orphanage that produced you. You're now bringing this like lost soul to. So, I can see that also being like a sanity regain type thing. Hell yeah, I could I could stand regain some sanity. I like that angle. <gasps> I like okay. the bear goes into it hesitant and leaves leaves feeling better than when he started. Yeah. Okay, so um. Basically, it says reduce a bond by one and make a luck roll. So just give me a luck roll. Alright. See how, how much this heals you. 
You remember how to do that? There's like a dice icon at the top of your sheet. Ah, uh, yes, there we go. That. 70. So that's a failure. Yeah. <clears throat> so you're gonna regain one sanity. And that's it. Alright, that's cool. Good stuff. Yeah, it, I don't think you have to reduce a bond by one. That just doesn't really make sense. So let's just say you get one sanity back. Hey, it could make all the difference. That's true. Um, okay, we'll pivot. <clears throat> we'll pivot over to a scene with Agent Grady. So if you there. Yes. Yay. Okay. <clears throat> Zoom in on the vaccine research center in where is it? Because Maryland. It's in Maryland. Yes, zoom in on the vaccine research center in Maryland through the big glass window to a desk where our research fellow Martha Grady sits. <clears throat> um, working away. What are you working on? Um, well, I was going to uh, have a Zoom meeting with my therapist. Ah, okay. But... Uh, right now, I guess I'm writing in my journal so that I can, like, remember everything. Yeah, this is, let's say this is, like, a few, of uh, like, let's say this is, like, a few weeks after the, oh. the oh, last okay. mission. Yeah. <laughs> so you're just, like, at work on, like, a normal work so, day. I'm just at work on a normal work day, but I'm about to go to therapy on Zoom. Okay. So just before you're, like, let's say it's, like, 2 p.m. and, you know, you have a break, you were given this at work to do therapy... And it's like just before two, and your boss, who is Catherine Folds, um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> she approaches you and she says, "Hey, Grady, uh, after your appointment, uh, come talk to me, okay?" Oh, yo, yo, okay. Um, <clears throat> is that what you say to her? <laughs> no. Okay, what do you say to her? Um, okay, it sounds good. All right, it's nothing bad. It, 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 you know, I just want to talk. It's always bad. Is that what you say to her? No! Okay, it's not clear. We're in a God, scene. I'm just having self... No, I'm just also saying... Something. Yeah, like, the camera, like, pans to the side, and, like, you turn around, and, like... Yeah. In an echoey voice, we hear your thoughts. Um... <clears throat> I don't know, whenever my bosses say that to me, they immediately walk away and I don't have a chance to respond, so... Yeah, and then she walks away after. So, you're going to therapy, and do you... At therapy, do you lie about your unnatural traumas, or do you tell the awful truth? Um, I say that I've seen all of this stuff in dreams, so not completely lying, but... Okay. <clears throat> uh... Obviously not being completely true. Because... All right. Give me a and luck my roll. therapist would go crazy. Yeah, give me a luck roll. Oh. Um, there is the dice icon and the header of the sheet. It's like the top, top header. Oh, it's not. Okay, it's just, just, just a random Yeah, it's just roll. a 50-50. Boom, 48. That is just a success, which is great. So, to do your classic go to therapy, you're going to reduce a bond by one. This represents the bonds you break by going to therapy. <laughs> Wait, what? No. I read it. I thought it said that it healed a bond. No, it heals your sanity. <laughs> <coughs> Did you want to heal a bond? Yeah, wait, I was, sorry, I was reading. <laughs> no, it's fine, sorry, whatever, I'll my sanity. Nah, it's okay. No, what the fuck? <laughs> Smoking weed? <coughs> no. <laughs> just regular <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna just fake cough like you offered me that to me, you know. Okay. Wait, if you wanna hit it after this home scene, come over here. I will. Wait, where's the, the need to know again? <laughs> um, sorry. it's pinned, I think, that in Delta Green Shop. It's in that open book. Oh yeah, it's also in the, uh, it's actually imported into the, uh, thing. 
Oh, really? <gasps> yeah. Oh. Where is it? Oh, yeah. What do you need to know? On the little book. Oh, tab. yeah. Dude, that's that's kind of fucked up that they say going to therapy breaks bonds. <laughs> yeah. That's really a fucked up thing about this <laughs> game. That makes no sense. That's yeah, not realistic. Yeah, I feel like that doesn't or, make sense. That should be like, that should be the opposite. Whoa, that's like really crazy. So like. I mean, unless you're going to therapy to separate yourself from. Well, yeah. you're like, separating yourself from yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, like, yeah. You're going to therapy I want, too much. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's just say because we succeeded, we're not gonna reduce a bond. No no no, we can reduce a bond. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. I don't care. I can change rules on the fly. I didn't do it for okay. Ian because he didn't actually go to therapy, but I felt like it makes sense to re re regain some sanity. So I think it just makes if it makes sense, you know what I mean? In this case, your therapy isn't fucking with your other bonds, so it's okay. The only thing that increases a bond is fulfilling responsibilities. <clears throat> yeah. It's so like... everything... Wow, okay. This is a very capitalist <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah, there's, like, better or more expanded rules in the actual, uh, like, agent's handbook. Which is, like, the bigger, you know, the more yeah. expanded rules, but... <laughs> <laughs> um yeah we'll we'll just roll roll a d4 to see how much sanity you regain from going to therapy oh, only one so it must just not be that helpful you know yeah i guess it's useless too since it's damaging my bonds with my boss well no that was separate but yeah, I mean, we changed that rule, so... I know, okay? I'm just joking. Um, but no, I just... <laughs> wait, I don't want to change rules for me. That doesn't feel... Oh, it's fine. I agree that it doesn't make sense. I think if... The, the disclaimer like, I think, says, willing to work with mechanics. Yeah, that's, well, whatever. Your choice if you want to do the bond or not. Um, no, no. You're able to increase your standing by one, so it's helping a little bit, but it's just, like, not... You know, I mean, you're not being very truthful, so how helpful can it really be? Right. right. Um, <clears throat> you know, he's telling you advice on how to, like, have better dreams, but that's not really your issue. Like, your yeah. issue is that you've experienced these things, not that you're, you yeah. know, having bad dreams. Um, so it's like there's some nuggets of advice you're taking away in there, but just not... That's not what it... Yeah. What? No, never mind. Go ahead, sorry. So, yeah, so, you know, your sanity gets a little bit better, but not not by a lot. Okay, so you do your therapy and you go to... <clears throat> do you go to the meeting with your boss or do you ignore it? I want to ignore it, but I go. So when you walk in, she kind of... It's, it's like a nice office. Um, big silver desk, and she's, like, sitting behind it a picture of her and her wife on the on the desk <clears throat> and big window behind her and as you walk in she's looking kind of like like she's faking a smile and she says ah oh, lady grady come, come on in that's, <clears throat> that's her little nickname for you i don't know how you feel about it i don't like it <laughs> yeah fair uh, fair enough um yeah, so you go on in, you kind of sit behind, she has another chair, like, on the other side of her desk. You pull up, <clears throat> and she goes, I just, I just wanted to talk to you. Uh, I just noticed you've been falling a little behind on your work uh, lately. Um, really, just the last couple weeks, is something going on? No, 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 there's nothing really going on. Just not sleeping well, but... <clears throat> working on that with my therapist so mm. hopefully I can be able to be more productive when I come in mm. Mm. really well it yep, is impacting it. your work a little bit I'm sorry yeah that's why I'm working with my therapist so that I can uh, have fewer nightmares and terrors <laughs> being really open with her yeah oh. well that's because if you're open about a lie then it's <clears throat> Yeah, remember, I do want to rem remind you that you 
damage this bond with her by four. I know. I, so yeah, just I know. try to keep yeah. that in mind when you're <laughs> responding. So but I think what you're saying... Like me. What? What does a broken bond mean? Like, she doesn't like me anymore? Mm. Or she just has lost trust in me? Yeah, I think it's like lost trust. Like, when it gets down to zero is when it's like, you're no longer if, if friends or whatever. Like, you know, the bond is fully <laughs> broken. Like, your bond hasn't fully right. broken. It's just it taken some damage and... Yeah. To me, that's like, you know, you're falling behind at work and she's been noticing that and then like how you respond to that probably. But it makes sense what you're saying. You're like, oh, I'm working with my therapist. Like, and that's not what she wants to hear. <laughs> you know what I mean? She wants to hear like, I'll take care of this. Like, it'll be, it won't be a problem going forward. <clears throat> and yeah. She's like, all right, well, I'm glad, I'm glad you're, I'm glad you're getting help for these issues. But, you know, I got to say if, if, if they continue, I mean... I need. I just. I. I just need you to be operating at a, a higher level. You know, the, okay, that's I'll what take I expected when we hired you. You know, there's a lot of people who yeah. want this job. Kill for I'll this be job. better. <laughs> All right. All right. I got work to do. <clears throat> I'll. I'll figure it out. I don't want to hear it. Just want you to do it. All right. All right, Lady no. Grady. <laughs> <laughs> God, so I really fucked up this bond. She fucking hates me. I mean, what it I've went never from? Been... It went from fourteen to ten, and like ten is still like <laughs> pretty good. Yeah, I don't know what the numbers mean. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, out of what? So fourteen was like is your charisma, which is like what your bond starts at. So yeah. kind of out of fourteen. So, but the scale is different for everybody because like uh... Sam's charisma is pretty or like. Agent Acosta's charisma is pretty low. Yeah. <clears throat> um. So like all of her bonds started off like, you know, at eight. So yeah. it's like your bond with your boss is still better than Agent Acosta's bond with anybody. That's why I don't know why she's being literally <clears throat> so rude. Like, yeah. Maybe something's going on. Not with her. Fire you. She could fire you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess I just thought of bond of fourteen with a boss would mean that even if it was fucked up a little bit, she would care about me going to therapy. Just yeah, um, if we were like very close, and so now <clears throat> she does not give a shit about me saying anything personal. That feels, yeah, I broke yeah. that bond, dude. That, yeah. That's what that means. I think so. I think you're right. Like I didn't realize like exactly what the numbers were, and I think later, yeah, maybe I'm that just, day. I'm just saying you're a little harsh yeah for how maybe later that day you get a text that was like yeah. from her <laughs> Whoa. and it's like and I'm it's not... like uh it says like hey sorry for earlier uh things have just been rough lately like my bosses are breathing down my neck and like you, you do yeah. find work we all have issues but uh not trying to second guess <clears throat> you as the GM, no no it's to... fine to do like, that well. i appreciate it because I just didn't realize like what your what your scores were, you know. So, but it makes perfect yeah. sense. So, um, yeah, I mean, there's some damage there. Like you guys definitely yeah. aren't, but but it's not a. Uh... Yeah, it's not like she fucking hates you or anything. Yeah, I'm just like, she was just having a bad day too. So. I never had any boss speak to me that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but dude, you're working at a very high level, you know. Like Grady is at a very yeah. high level in the vaccine. That is true like research mm -hmm. world so it's like people yeah. would kill for your job like that's like dream job status for a lot of you know, yeah literally. You know, people. so anyway <clears throat> it makes sense to a degree uh okay um <clears throat> i think we'll go to indy because i want to i want to bring indy in uh you We're there indy yeah i'm here hey nice so uh, do you want me to create a scene for Agent Walfdorf, or do you want to create, like, tell me a little scene? What's, like, a little slice of you, life of... I was gonna ask if you preferred, like, a slice of life from <laughs> civilian side, or you wanted to see, like, since you guys were in, in action, maybe say, like, I was also out, you know, deployed or something, and I get, you know, caught, because you said, sort of, Delta Green finds you. Maybe this yeah. is sort of set up as how they find me. Yeah. Or I don't know. <clears throat> um, yeah, sure. We could we could do how they find you. I like that. A little right, cool. cool scene. So you're out on a you're out on a deployment. Yeah. On a so I imagine like a secret mission or something. 
Well, yeah, you would stay somewhere, you know, deploy to a forward operating base for a period of time or something like that, and then you would take these different missions, but you would be based out of somewhere. Um, Where is that? It's like, I don't know. Well, let's see. Um, you don't even have to be specific. Like, the, the shot yeah, on the screen like, should just be, like, somewhere like, in yeah. the Pacific Ocean or something. Yeah, redacted <laughs> um, Special Operations Command forward operating base. I've just come back from basically a routine reconnaissance mission. You know, nothing ba major happens, but there's always a couple of scrape ups on those couple kind of things. So, um, bit tired, battered up, and you know, head back to the hooch, which is my tent. You know, me and the guys we stay, my team guys. Uh, and, uh, Waldorf's ooh. back. Yeah, yeah. What's up? What's up? What were you right, doing boys, out there, uh, shithead? Oh, uh, beers on me, shithead. Dick one. That's Master Chief. That's Master Chief Petty Officer to you. Uh, I'm just kidding. Ah, uh, fuck you, Waldorf. I'm doing all right. Yeah, yeah. Fuck me. Yeah, all right. Yeah, sure. All right. What's the word? What's the word on town? My guys are itching to go. <laughs> Wait, didn't you just come back from something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> didn't we're, you just uh, fucking come back, Waldorf? What are you doing, itching to get back out there? That place is a shithole. We're, we're all cylinders uh, firing, sir. You know. I'm trigger happy, a couple months home, you know, my head was just spinning, so... Gotta get back to what I do best, sir. Uh... Am I- wait, am I your boss right now, or am I just one of the guys? <laughs> well, you're like- I'm assuming you're some sort- because I'm calling you sir, so you're probably my commanding officer, but we're buddy buddies. You know, <clears throat> yeah, we're like yeah, 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 yeah. Together, <clears throat> so. You know, we both got beards, because JSOC, Special Operations Command shit, um, you get to have a beard, which is cool. So we're like, haha, beards, we're cool. And then yeah, I'm yeah. like, so basically, what's the deal? Because I'm like, do we have new orders? It's just sort of been routine missions recently. Yeah. I'm used to more. I'm antsy because I'm used to more like intense, crazy <laughs> shit. Yep. And, and my backstory this, was. Is this pre a bit... or post exposure <clears throat> to the unnatural? Post, this is post exposure to the unnatural. So I know there's something out there, but yeah, they're just but... sort of keeping me on a tight leash with these sort of like rank and file missions. And I'm, I know I'm capable of way more than that. So I'm just sort of like itchy to see like, yo, is there something, some follow up? Yeah, yeah. What was the deal? <clears throat> Those dudes yeah, in yeah. the cave, in the house. He said, yeah, so this guy's agent, or uh, not agent, uh, Sergeant McMurdy that you're talking to. <clears throat> right. And, he's, and he says, uh, he says, <laughs> Well, shitbag, I wasn't gonna fucking tell you, but I guess now that you ask, uh, there's someone ringing for you. And you know there's, like, a phone tent. Like, a tent with, like, a phone on a desk. Right. Um, do you, you know, he says, go over and... Phone for me? Yeah. Uh, I don't know who'd, who'd want to be calling. Don't have <laughs> much back in the means of family back home no more. It's probably that ex-wife, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm just kidding. I don't know why I'm Italian all of a sudden. <laughs> Although she shouldn't be able to reach. It's like a, yeah. it's like a, you know, it's like a very secure line. Yeah, it's like, a secure like to the line. Pentagon or whatever it is. Like straight to like the people back home. Um, all right, ring, ring, ring. Hello. Nana phone. <laughs> <laughs> that totally derailed me. Um, I thought there was something <laughs> funny about this phone. <laughs> Yeah, anyways, hello. <laughs> this is Master Chief Petty Officer uh, Clay Waldorf, sir. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, okay, I was about to be like, Is this Clay Waldorf? Can you hear me when I do that or no? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, yeah. You've reached him. Who am I speaking to? <gasps> you don't need to know. What you do need to know is that we're part of a secret organization and we need to bring you in. You understand? I understand this is just like a movie me and the boys were watching the other night. No, Say, no, 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 no. Oh, oh. Do, do you remember what you saw? Mission classified. And he, he, he reads off like a mission code, like classified mission, and it's like X, O. Oh. And you know, you recognize this as the mission, like that you 
You're talking about that hut outside Ramadi, aren't you? <laughs> yes. But please be discreet. We have something for you. The Exo says that was a dry hole. There's nothing there. I know what I saw. This is another one of those We're internal tell- affairs shakedowns. <clears throat> We're here to tell you that what you saw was real. And you handled yourself impressively. You understand. We're activating you. So Delta what's green. the catch? <laughs> and he says Delta Green, and you've never heard of Delta this before. Green. Delta Green. <clears throat> so what's the catch? <clears throat> the catch is your hours. You understand? You may think that you work for other agencies, other departments, but you don't. You are ours. You are ours until we say that you are not. Oh. The decision when do I report for when do I report for duty, sir? <clears throat> Alliance, New Jersey. Tomorrow. Oh my god, my cousin's from New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking way! <laughs> Taylor Ham? And then you just it, it hangs up. And Hello. Hello. And, uh, God damn it. And, uh, what yeah. What even talking about? Your friend McMurdy comes over and he, he goes, So you heard the news? I'm going to Jersey, so. Been reassigned, Waldorf. <laughs> it's been fun. <laughs> but get out of here. <laughs> Are you sure the boys will be okay without me? No, they'll probably <laughs> die in a ditch, but, uh, they'll be better off. Oh. Well, oh. looks like I'm off to Jersey for a, <coughs> um, what did he say was good out there again? Anyways, I'm out of here, son. And he walks away off towards the Humvees. Yeah, we'll say Red Connell, he probably told you a little bit more information, but. <laughs> I'm just so trigger happy and ready to go. I'm just like, at this point, I'm so willing to like avenge my fallen brothers because I saw some crazy shit that everyone told me i was crazy i know what i saw this is my chance to prove everyone i'm not fucking crazy yeah yeah yep yeah perfect nice um do you want to do a roll to see if um just to try and like gain some points and stuff yeah dale what do i roll uh what skill do you want to train um oh i can train a skill um, do I know any, like, languages or anything like that? Or, like, what other kind of, like, can you, like, learn, like, um, other vehicles besides driving? Yeah, that could be, like, a special skill. It would be, like, a, what, like, what kind of vehicle are you thinking? Um, like, you know, those little, like, rubber motorized boats that, like, the special forces badasses always use? It's, like, the black, rubbery, inflatable, tough boat thing. <laughs> yeah. It's, I don't know, like one of those, like... Really yeah, that's sick. Skilly. I'm just going to warn you, that's Whoa. almost certainly not going to come up in Damn, this mission. Okay, no, oh, <laughs> Damn. But <laughs> if you want... Okay, well, shit. Like, I'll, I'll invest in the boat, TBH. Okay, I'll yeah, I mean, I'm, it's not... It that... doesn't mean it won't come up in any mission, but... That's fine. I'll invest in the boat long term. Sometimes you got to play a long game. Does that mean he has military science? See, I have military because I have military science land. Yeah, it would make sense because I'm a seal. It makes sense if I had C instead. Yeah, but dude. I don't yeah, change it. To to change it to C. It's late. C now. Oh my god. <laughs> Which again is less helpful, but <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. okay. Well, apparently, the tax man and the other ranger um, can drive pretty good. So yeah. Yeah, so so do you want to which so do you want to improve like a uh, drive boat? A <laughs> drive boat. Yeah, fuck it, let's do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um custom skill. <coughs> yeah, and craft? I'm <laughs> What would it be? Out of craft for, uh military science. Pilot? I would probably just do pilot. pilot. Yeah, pilot like Yeah. And boat. then boat. boat. <laughs> Pilot. Add skill. Pilot boat. World War II then, style U boat. Make that shit like what? 
it's a 10 RN. I'm not like a 10 30. kind of boat guy. You know what I mean? I'm kind of like a 30 boat guy at least. Yeah, yeah but I'm 40. not going <laughs> to. <laughs> Give me the 40 boat. You know what? I'm not going to need Get it there. right now. No. Um, oh, no roll. So, yeah, let's say it starts at 10. Roll your boat. I'm just like making up rules on the fly. But... <laughs> right, I'm rolling boat. Roll your boat. <laughs> Rolling boat. You want to fail this one, so it's like most likely. So I have to get it under ten. We under o what? over ten. Over ten. Oh shit! Okay, rolling. Forty-eight. Okay, you failed. I failed. Yeah, you want to fail though. Oh, so, let's go. <laughs> now roll three d six. Okay. And Wait. that's how much you're gonna add to boat. D six. Give me a good boat. No, sorry, three d6, so roll two more d6s. Oh, shite. Okay. Yeah, you can just... You know how to do it. Um, do I just... Oh, I'm, I was adding a modifier, my bad. Do I just boom, boom? Okay, there we go, I'm sorry, it's been a while. No, you're fine. Ignore right. my earlier roll. <laughs> yeah, bonus. yeah, we'll ignore that one. Okay, 12. Okay. That was actually a pretty solid roll for three d6. So your uh, boat, is, pilot boat is 22, which is more than most people, I think. Let's go, pilot boat. Caps. <laughs> <laughs> You're big on the water. <sighs> um, and just so you know, for the future, uh, Indy, you can just roll like uh, your skills. You can just click on the skill, and it'll roll it. Oh, badass! Okay. And then it'll that. say the target number and everything. So, um, <clears throat> all right. <clears throat> it's Noemi's turn. Where do we find Noemi, Sam? Like after this, after this last mission. Like, wh Ancient what? What has she been getting back up to? What does Noemi do? Because she's ex-military, right? Like, what does she do? Like for uh, money, or does she just chill on her like vet, serve like a knife end or whatever it is that vets get, which isn't a lot. It's a big question. No, you honestly don't make a lot. Maybe. Either, like, you Maybe really high she's, level. Well, maybe she's hot and she does like sort of like girl boss, like tick, military girl TikTok. Hell, oh, <laughs> fuck. And, oh, and, like, you're talking like, about some high level shit. I okay. love it. That's incredible. Yeah, in that list, is you good, look like her. She does have a charisma <laughs> of eight, and your of eight, of yeah, eight. Does, and the yeah. thing you put for that, like the special feature for that, is resting grimace. Resting I don't know how. Yeah. I don't know how popular that is on the TikTok. It's pretty. It's pretty popular. Having oh, yeah. oh, you're actually so right. It's like a bitchy girl boss, like yeah, like buff mommy, like yeah. Um, yeah, all right, so like, all right, fine, yeah. She, she's you're saying, and and most influencers probably don't probably don't know how to talk to people in real life. Yeah, I like right. this. <laughs> yeah, you're so right. So right. So right. <laughs> um. <laughs> All right, so she, yeah, so she, where do we find her? Is she making a TikTok right now? I was thinking she was at, like, the bar. All right. All right. Okay, my goal is, okay, so I looked at the things, like, the yeah. options. Yeah, that's and, like, right there. I, I want to uh, improve stats. I just, like, okay. want to focus on stats. Okay. Uh, so I was <laughs> thinking... Because I'm bad at persuade and I'm bad at talking to people, and I can go to the bar. Get a little loosey goosey. Get a little loosey, try to talk some people. Well, try to talk people into helping me. Yeah, like, you know, just like try to get drinks. Try to not pay for any drinks. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you're at the bar and you're trying to get somebody to pay for your drink. There's a few people sitting at the bar there's uh like a cut what looks like a couple um there's a guy alone at the like end of the bar he's got like a bald spot um but he looks like maybe like he has like some early male pattern baldness um yeah glasses the hair that is there is a little curly uh, I don't know. Does that guy sound cool, or like, do you? Are you looking for someone specific? Because <laughs> there's like a lot of people at this bar. You know, it's a Friday night. Let's say, it's like the right. week after. 
I guess. Um, well, no, that ain't like women. Oh, right. Roll for Riz Daddy. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, yeah, there's, there's plenty of women at the bar. There's, there's like a small little like gaggle of like maybe like recent college grads. And it seems like there's, you know, maybe a lesbian or maybe even two within well, their ranks, you know? Roll for a gay dog. Roll for a lesbian <laughs> in, the, in the ranks. <laughs> roll for, yeah. <clears throat> Okay, just what my you... alertness. Use... <laughs> yeah, dude, you're to... tuned in. You're tuned in. This girl Roll is definitely me. gay. Oh. <laughs> She's got like uh like curly red hair. She's a little short. Yay. Um, a little stout. And she has a nice bag, so you can tell that she's like that she's got some money that she could buy you a drink probably if if you were persuasive enough. Okay. What's great about this is that you want to fail the roll to get the most <laughs> to get the this stack. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> so why don't you actually give me the roll and we'll see how the, the the scene plays out based on that. If you succeed, it, you learn from failure, you know? That's the idea. Correct. You learn right. from not okay, getting right. rizzed up. Persuasion. What, Sam? So I just click persuasion. Yeah, you just click persuade. 73, failure. <clears throat> so what, what do you say to go up to this girl? She's like hanging out with her friends. <laughs> oh my god. I'm like so awkward in real life, so I'm yeah. just like, what would I say? I see you staring, you know. He like walks up to you. I see you staring, you know. Staring at what? Yeah, what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> at me. My name's w. Aurora. What's your name? Aurora. <laughs> my name is Noemi. Oh, Noemi! Wow, that's so exotic. <laughs> what is that name? What is that name from? <laughs> Fascinating. Yeah. Um, my mom named me after her great grandmother. Oh, that's that's beautiful. Right, isn't it? Well, what were you staring at earlier? Just you know, <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> your butt. Oh no, yeah, hockey <laughs> yeah. buddy. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm it's sure. Like my intrusive thought. <laughs> well, uh, well, I'm sure I'll see you around sometime. And she just like walks off. Oh. <laughs> you tried. You're like, uh, yeah, uh. <laughs> yeah. Got to roll for Riz. <clears throat> All right, dude. For Riz. Is roll cool. your three d six. How much did you? <laughs> how much better at persuading did you get? It's a lot. I feel like 3d6 is a lot. Wait, how is? No, Sam. That's the modifier. You did what <laughs> Indy did. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're just gonna press just the six thing twice. three times. Yeah. I also. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna use the original roll, which was a six. Fair enough that you wanted to keep that. Plus a six and a two. That's 14. Your persuade just went up to 35. Hell yeah. That's great. <laughs> you're, you're like replaying the scene. It's funny. You're like a military girl, you know? You like, things are so like, you're used to routine and stuff. And you're used to like having to think on the fly. But something about like social interactions just kind of like paralyze you. <clears throat> but you're getting better. Yeah. That's you're getting why better. I'm ex, but I'm still friends with. Oh yeah, also because we're in between missions, now is a great time to apply the skill improvements from skills you failed last time. So you know how you guys have like all the check boxes? Yeah. So anything that's checked, 
at the bottom right of your sheet, there's a little button that says apply skill improvements. If you click that, it will automatically roll more skill improvements for you. Oh, shit. Got <clears throat> Yeah, like Joe Bear just got plus four to alertness drive and plus oh, one for Oh, that's so cool. What the hell? Yeah, that, that was a awesome system. That was a feature I um, programmed. Is this automatic? Oh, and adding. W Riz coding Gaiat, perhaps? <laughs> did you see that? Okay, sorry. I just, did you see that massive though? And do that jail and just like get in contact with the de with Delta Green creator. Yeah, I was telling me earlier. Yeah, so so. Oh yeah, of course. Um, is anybody else gonna roll their <clears throat> to apply their skill improvements? Yeah. Waldorf, you don't have any yet, but <clears throat> when you fail a skill, Indy, you can check mm -hmm. off the box and then in between missions or some other basically in between missions you then get to like do what they're doing like add some kind of like it it's like you learn from the failure i think it's a cool no i think that's cool i like that shit <clears throat> grady just increased her skills fairly good too your cell biology got better so yeah you failed a cell biology <laughs> rule somehow <laughs> um Okay, no, I mean, can I just roll for you? Pretty you embarrassing. But... Yeah, do it. There you go. I feel like no Here, me let me left 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 left. It rolls all around, actually. Yeah, no, I mean, your persuade got better by four, even. Let's go. So now you're at like 39. That's bad ass. Okay, so now that we've done our home scenes, great job. Sorry that took a little while, but I think it's nice to little, like get, gain these little insights into our agents' lives because that's like really what this game is about. It's really about like how your agents deteriorate by facing these unnatural things. Um, <clears throat> so, um, yeah, now we're in the now we're in the game. So. Uh, Agent Waldorf already got activated. Agent Waldorf is on a plane back to back back to the states. I assume you were, uh, you know, New Jersey. They said, yeah, back to the states happened, but... through New Jersey. Um, <clears throat> we couldn't have flown New Jersey, yo. <laughs> and uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> why was that? <laughs> Yeah, the chief king. Because he had beef with New Jersey. <laughs> Why does he hate New Jersey, though? I can't he was, remember. He was beefing with, um... Oh, shit, dude, this is ancient lore. Like, you're making me cite deep magic here, Loki. Yeah. Um... Why was he beefing with New Jersey? Let me consult the council, and I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> yeah. It Maybe he just doesn't like Taylor Ham. That fair like one guy or a few guys who don't like Taylor Ham. <laughs> oh, no. it was because some people in the crowd tried to jack his chain. Oh shit! Oh, okay, that's fucked up. That's really fucking yeah. funny though. <laughs> yeah, yeah he's gonna blow New Jersey. <laughs> you probably shouldn't do that, you know what I mean? Definitely shouldn't. He's stealing people's shit. The girl blew me to see you that fucking shit is insane. I remember that song. Alright. Thank you All for right. explaining that reference to me. <laughs> yeah, that was really <laughs> important that we did that. <laughs> so cool. Um hey, should we take like a five minute break before we start the mission? Sure. Sure. Whatever anyone needs. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good too. A, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Let's just take a five-minute uh, break. Yeah, I gotta what? pee. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right, five minutes. All right, it's recording's so back. Yeah. Say the stiff competition thing again, Ian. It was really funny. There's <laughs> <laughs> a stiff competition. M Mario really knows how to party. <laughs> <laughs> Classic Ian. <laughs> <laughs> Indy, you back yet? 
Yeah, I'm here. Oh, hell yeah. All right, we're all back. Are we all ready to, to start? As ready as I'll ever be. That was a really accurate <laughs> five minutes. I'm proud of us. You know, I was thinking how I have no idea what five minutes feels like. Well, it was that, <laughs> basically. That, that felt like 10 minutes. Oh, really? That's good. That was cool. You want time to feel longer than it actually is. Yeah. Well, in most circumstances. Some circumstances. I don't know. I mean, I'm late for work every single day, so I feel like it's usually the opposite. Me too. <laughs> yeah. Literally everyone at my job is late. Like, <laughs> everyone is late every day. But, yeah, it just means you leave a little later. You bear, you're leaving your spot. Or, or maybe you leave a little earlier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Joe Bear, I like that little run around the uh... <laughs> the board that I did there. Yeah, yeah that was cool. <laughs> I didn't think anyone would notice. It's really what? noticeable on the on the video on the recording because it like <laughs> the oh. camera like expands to keep all of your tokens on the screen. <laughs> um. Oh, okay, so cool. are we ready to restart? Zoop, zoop, zoop. Back in the game mode. Back yep. into game mode. Wah, wah. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Okay, so <clears throat> everybody receives a like a, a letter in the mail, except Waldorf. Everybody receives a, a package in the mail, FedEx package in the mail, and in this package is a file folder, much like the one on our screen here, and in this file folder is a series of fabricated documents giving you clearance with the FBI. Basically fake I false identities, um, where for that and and all of the like proper records are in place. Um like like it's super detailed. There's tax returns for the last two years. Um and you might be like, what the fuck is all this? But within uh, this like stack of paperwork you also find a, a message and the message repeat or uh, mimics what we already heard told to agent Waldorf Alliance New Jersey tonight basically you so sure. <clears throat> yeah like so and you know what the, the it's signed like the period on like the after it says tonight is a little green triangle. You know what this means. You've been activated once again. God damn it. <laughs> and but this is months more later. Therapy. This is <laughs> more therapy. This is months later. So um this is the day of October twelfth. Okay, so let's say this is like the morning, morning mail. You guys all get these packages. And yeah, you know you've been activated. Sam, what is the airport that you would go to to get to Alliance, New Jersey? Where is where is Alliance, New Jersey, Sam? You know about all the little no towns in New I'll, Jersey, right? I've never heard of Alliance, New Jersey in my life. Yeah. So I'm gonna. I mean, probably everybody would fly into like JFK or New York. Yeah, New York Airport. Okay. Is there other airports in New Jersey? Yeah, that's the main one. I don't know about South Jersey. Nice. Yeah, I don't. So yeah, so Alliance, New Jersey. Alliance, New Jersey is is it South New Jersey? I think it is, right? Did you look it up on the map? No, did you? Uh, yeah, yeah, I looked it up on the map. I'm looking at it right now. It's Mad South. It's near Atlantic City. Does yeah, Atlantic okay. City have yeah. a uh, airport? <clears throat> I should have looked this part up. I don't know. Sure. I I'll be honest. Shell City, Newark. Shell City. Newark Airport would make the most sense, like for people traveling long distance. Yeah. Well, there's also Philadelphia International Airport not too far away from there. That could make sense. That yeah. probably makes the most sense. I'm gonna drive into the Philadelphia one. Fly in. Yeah. Okay. 
let's see yeah for for story's sake let's say you guys are all flying into the same airport the tickets were paid for already actually in this package of information there for later that day and they're to the philadelphia airport and when you get there um you're greeted by like one of those people that holds like the plaque like not the plaque but like the sign with your name on it and it has your each of your last names costa grady fontenois it's, it's spelled wrong yeah definitely <laughs> <laughs> and waldorf and Waldorf, it's been a long day for you because you, I, you, I imagine you've been traveling like the whole day to get here by now. They fly you in on a big ass uh, carrier plane, so yeah, but it's, good but I'm, yeah. I, they, like, there's space to hang a hammock and shit. So maybe I had a nap, but I'm kind of yeah, but, yeah, but it's like a good ten hour flight or something, you know, like ten excited hours. Excited to be off the plane. Yeah. Redacted amount of hours, so you can't like Red triangulate the redacted hours. amount. Yeah, because you wouldn't want to be able to. Like, trace back exactly how many hours it was. Yeah. Wait, you know that. Then there's a radius. You know exactly. Like, you Are we all like given sedatives that we have to take when we get on there, so we don't know how long it's been? <laughs> no, 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 no. Because no. that would be sick. That would be sick. You could use the sedatives. You've been having trouble sleeping. Yeah. Um. My good old Xanax prescription. And instead of getting like escorted out of the airport like you normally would by these people wearing, who have the signs, you know, usually they're drivers or whatever. Um, no, instead you're actually taken to an office space in the airport. Uh, kind of like one of those little doors in the airport that you're always like, I wonder what's behind there. And it's like, this is like a conference room, but it's kind of tucked away. It doesn't seem like it's often used. And in this conference room is uh, a man in his probably late 50s kind of got like thinning hair that's greased back he's wearing slacks and like a nice kind of button down t-shirt it's uh, not t-shirt excuse me nice button down shirt um, it's not super nice but it's like nice enough and uh, as soon as you get let in, the person who, like, walked you in is just, like, leaves, and you guys are all kind of sitting there. A few of you know each other. You've been on two missions now together? Is that right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. You guys have been on two missions now together, but there is a new person. A new person in your yeah. team, apparently, uh, who's kind of sitting there, uh, and, and they're kind of there first, and this guy goes welcome team uh i'm agent kane it's uh very nice to meet you uh we've got a bit of a situation on our hands so i i'd, I'd like to get started um anything anybody needs to say before we get started can we jump right in because uh i don't really want to wait on this one Go ahead. Right. If you can smoke. <laughs> what was that can you smoke in Joe here? Bear asked if he can smoke. Uh, no, you can't smoke in here. This is an airport, okay? Uh, that's not oh, a great right, idea. Right. Um, okay. Right. Smoking, right. Let me get one too. Now listen, now listen to me. We chose all of y'all because, and please tell me this is true. If it's not true, speak up now, okay? Speak up now. None of you knows any maths, right? You're not good with maths. Like, mathematics isn't really your thing. You didn't go to school for it. You didn't go to school for maths. <laughs> Do I know that I'm a fucking mathematician, buddy? Well, I'm pretty good at accounting. <laughs> Accounting's okay. Accounting's one thing. Oh. Hey, you're a tax man. I know. I know you, tax man. That's well, but that's that's kind of the thing. Is uh, well, good, good. Okay, accounting. Yeah, that's just like to... adding and subtracting, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't sure. know nothing about like prime numbers. Nah. Oh, all, no. right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, a Maybe, cell. Did... No, no, no. Computer science? No. So, a cell did good. Uh, get gathering news. So that's that's uh that's what we got going on. Uh, actually, Agent Acosta, on your walk over here, does anybody have an alertness of greater than sixty? I think Acosta. Nope. I do. I probably do. Oh, Joe Bear's close, Alert. but not quite there. Alertness? 
Actually, I think, honestly, I got... anybody with an alertness of 40, you probably would have seen this. Um, I got on, 60. On your way over, you saw um, on the TV screen, like, you know how they have, like, screens by the terminals and airports? You saw, like, uh, a news story that says, Eight Murdered in Alliance, New Jersey. Oh, shoot. Um, so, okay. yeah... Grady, maybe you saw this. Do you want to give... Everybody with a 40 or above definitely saw it. Grady, do you want to give me a, a roll to see if you saw it? An alertness roll? An alert... Oh, okay. Eight dead. 52. What's yeah, you just... On? You don't... Yeah, there's... There, you When you walked by, it was commercials, and you just didn't see, but... So he says, uh, yeah, you may you may have heard by now, but, uh, well, we've got a, a bit of a situation on our hands, uh... His name's Michael Way, and he passes around a file folder. 26-year-old <clears throat> mathematician, uh, hotshot, not hotshot, a uh, whiz kid in grad school at Columbia. Well, he, something must have happened. He, he uh, something broke, and well, he, he traveled down from Columbia University uh, earlier today. And uh, he, well, he took he took he took a shotgun, and he walked right into a family home. Killed killed all eight of them. Oh, and then killed himself. Damn. Real ugly stuff. Not uh, Ooh. nobody likes to think about it, but this is our job. At first, when you said mathematician and traveling in a car, I thought of Goodwill Hunting. And then you lost me really quick. <laughs> yeah, this was <laughs> sort of a goodwill hunting situation. I mean, this guy went on a hunt and he found his prey. Uh, it seems like there's not much of a connection between this guy and this family. Uh, family was named, uh, what was it? Uh, the Ridgeways. The Ridgeways. The Ridgeways. Uh, a, a mom, a dad, and their, and their six kids. From ages 10 to 18. All, all, all gunned down. And then he shot himself in the head. Blew his head off, right off. Now, so, uh, where, people... where do we come in? Is there... Sounds pretty... <laughs> yes. Normal. Agent, Agent Grady. Uh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. We're getting there. Uh, so... And he, he, he did one thing before he uh, shot himself in the head. That shotgun, he uh, he spray-painted a series of numbers into the pavement just after his last kill. Just before he shot himself. And he passes around. I don't have this like as an actual material, but he passes around um, like a scene photograph of like a crime scene photograph of this like bright red spray paint into the pavement and the numbers are nine nine two zero two two nine nine eight nine two one two three wait three, wait three. wait i want to write this i'm gonna post <laughs> it don't worry I'm gonna post it, don't worry. Okay, it should be posted. Oh wait, yeah, it should be posted. Can you read it? Where? In the chat or no? Oh, yeah. I see. Uh, sure. In the game chat? You can see it? Yep. Okay, great. Um, yeah, so, and it has those numbers. And he, he says, uh, now, when the story broke, you know, we caught wind of it upstairs. Uh, a few of our own found, recognized this number as uh, something not good. Something, uh, well, something that requires requires us, uh, our intervention. You understand? Um, but Just we, a number. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and that's exactly why we brought you you folks in. Uh, we didn't. We needed somebody with no expertise in math. Actually, it's uh, quite a disadvantage on something like this. Uh, the less you understand about this number, I mean, I don't understand anything about it. To me, it just looks like a gibberish, like a 
<laughs> my, my third graders math homework but you know you know we, the, the more the more you know about the math apparently the more dangerous uh, this kind of thing can be so I don't really know much about it but uh you know I'm your handless on this one so you know please clue me in any information and and and, and uh, well your mission is this and he reveals or gives you the mission info which is I am trying to give you guys be able to see it. Alright, you should be able to see it now on the... Like here, do you guys see a couple things? Mm -hmm. Nice. I don't. I don't see um, nothing. <clears throat> There's like books under... I only see Michael there Way. Is. There we go, there we go. Mission briefing. Yeah, I just showed it to you guys. So this is your mission briefing, Operation Yapetus. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, Yapetus? Yapetus? Yeah, maybe. It's Latin, uh, so I don't know. Yapetus? Yeah, that could be it. Yeah, Yapetus. I like that. Um, Iapetus. Iapetus. I guess that's how it's pronounced. Oh. Iapetus? Okay. I don't know. What is an that upside kind of down and backwards E? Huh? I app, it's I as in I E Y E, oh, are A P you I H, and then T upside down and backwards E S. That's like the phonetic, like the yeah. universal phonetic shit, right? Yeah, I don't know how yeah. to read that. Uh, I was like, I was like, what's the, what the I fuck are you talking about? I um, this. Yeah. So. All right. So that so right. there's good. there's something going on with this with this number and that's the thing they want you to root out so he says like I, we need you to deter determine if he if michael way distributed this number uh you know good accent you're doing dude <laughs> thanks that's the one i can do uh he's like this number and in, in you know did, did anybody else know about this and uh you know if so we need to know and uh if you if you find the number, uh, uh, destroy it. Destroy any evidence that can lead it back to the number. I mean, you gotta, you gotta scrub this thing clean, okay? Understand? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> what? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Ash is making you make me die laughing right now. <laughs> no, you're good. Um, and he does say that uh, to. You could, you basically need to close this case. He wants you to close this case, okay, as fast as possible, with the little like he he wants you like, basically we just need you to get this case closed as quickly as possible, okay. Uh, whatever you got to do. If you, if we, my idea was maybe you could link way romantically to uh, one of the Ridgeways, maybe the mom or something. It was an affair, you know. Uh, an affair went wrong. I mean, that happens all the time. It's no, it's not pretty. They always end in bloodsheds, <laughs> even the ones without guns. You know what I mean? So, uh, <laughs> my, my marriage ended in bloodshed. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, you know this this one's got this one's got to be done. You gotta you gotta scrub it clean. You gotta close the books. Uh, and 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 let us know if, if if this number got out in any other way, okay? Just uh, just make this one, make this one, make this one go away. Um, now <laughs> that's a little hard because you know the last uh, the last the last one he killed, he killed on the highway, which makes it uh, state police. New Jersey, what is, is that? What they're called in New Jersey? Yeah. Trooper? Yeah, state trooper. I don't know. And like California would be like highway patrol. It's like yeah, a, state. Yeah, it's the state police. Yeah. So it's like the New Jersey what? state police. State trooper. State troopers. Uh, it's the New Jersey straight state troopers, but it happened in 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 this town. So there's all these jurisdictional things, and then get this. Uh, it's uh, the FBI is involved too. So it's a jurisdictional nightmare. Um, I can't remember why the FBI is involved, but there's like a reason it has something to do with. Oh, because My book he disappeared. What? 
my notes disappeared. The case notes disappeared. Oh, I can show it to you again. Um, you should be able to get them in the uh, in the journals tab as well, if it ever disappears. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, I gave you observer permission, so hopefully you should see it should probably in like a folder called the last equation. Um, so... Okay, sick. Where was I? We gotta close this case quick. Establish a romantic Wait. link between the killer and one of the family members. Yeah, you were... Uh, we're saying how it's a jurisdictional nightmare. Oh, yeah, it's a jurisdictional night <laughs> nightmare. On the uh, police highway. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I was trying to figure out why it was a um, FBI, FBI matter. I th so it's because he crossed state lines to do this killing. So he those went... threats at my job the other month were. FBI, and I don't know yeah. why that happened. Yeah, I mean, they get involved in all sorts of things, but specifically, he traveled from New York to New Jersey to commit this crime, from Columbia New University in New York City to New Jersey. So, mm -hmm. um, so that's why the FBI are involved. So it's like a jurisdictional nightmare. Um, there's already people there. The crime scene has been, you know, secured and everything like that, so it's kind of complicated for you guys. Like, just... So you guys kind of understand what the situation is is like you have to like the pictures have already been taken of the crime scene you know so you're gonna have to figure out how to scrub that information because this number is what needs to be contained apparently um but you don't i mean he, yeah you have any you have any questions so far for him um so if one of the mission objectives is to destroy all the copies of the number that may exist. Yes. Um, did he write the number originally in New York? Because then aren't some of us have to split, go to New York and find that first one? Any others? Or like, is it all going to be here? Um, yeah, no, he says, uh, yeah, so he says, uh, you know, I think first you should head down to the crime scene, see what you can see there. If is anything of no i mean uh uh we got you guys um officially assigned to this case under false identities uh unfortunately none of you are fbi so none of you can be officially assigned to the case um please try to keep a low profile though you don't have to use these identities um but if you don't then you don't have any official way to get uh, access to the crime scene of the case so you'd have to go about it some other way uh, just keep all that in mind, okay? Um, I mean, this is, it's your show. Uh, you do it how you see fit, but, uh, you know, I don't see how you'd get to the crime scene without using these identities, or at least some of you using them, if you know, if you know what I mean. Um, but, uh, yeah, hopefully we can nip this in the bud and stop it here. Uh, oh, one more thing. We do have a friendly on the inside, uh, name of, name of... State trooper name of Tom Thomas Blanet. He's 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 a veteran of of the New Jersey State Police, and and well, he doesn't really know what we do, but he is a friendly, and and he he's he's he, he, you can trust him, okay? Uh, if you, if you need help on the inside, easy man, uh, he can help you, but you know he's no FBI, he's not FBI, so he can't do that much. Uh, any questions before I send you guys out? Oh, I'm so cold out here. You want you a, a rental blanket? car pulled up? <laughs> oh yeah, we've secured a car for you. Don't don't worry about that. Uh, you'll also find service if you do choose to use this these identities. You'll find your service weapons in 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 the car. <clears throat> All right, well, uh, let's get to it. <laughs> All right, I like the I like the attitude, Waldorf. Uh, this is uh, this is your first mission, so at this point, I just gotta know. say, I don't really see how this connects to all those guys that went down outside Ramadi. Uh, you well, probably don't even shit about that, do you? I mean, uh, yeah, do I, I even look like a fucking mathematician to you? 
No, we don't want... No, see, that's the thing. We don't want mathematician. No mathematician, oh. okay? Oh, well, then you got it. Yeah, say less. Although, you know, that is a... That is that is a, the potential uh, way into the to, to the case is uh, if one of you is pretending to be uh, the, math, the math expert, you know? Uh, maybe... <laughs> Maybe Joe Bear, that's uh, your thing. Joe Bear. Joe Bear. Joe Bear, that's your, Joe your thing. Joe Bear. Joe Bear. I wouldn't, I wouldn't account for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, because, you know, you're, you're, you're good with numbers, but uh, not that good. And not that's that good. Yeah, that's exactly where we want you. But, uh, hey, Joe Bear, be careful, okay? Careful. All right, all right. Come on, let's get in the car. I'm jonesing for a smoke and a black coffee. Yeah, you can smoke when you get out of the airport, okay? Don't draw attention to yourself more than you need, okay? Oh my god, you have smokes again. Like, can I give one? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> um, I give one to him guys, now, even though we're not smoking. <laughs> oh, we're smoking. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, you guys... I, by the way, am disgusted with it, that, and I'm going to be really snooty if you guys smoke in the car and like have my head literally hanging out the door the window i'm gonna be like you guys know that this causes cancer you are smarter than this what <laughs> you got a better lighter this shit ain't <laughs> um okay so yeah you guys you guys like head out and you're like walking out of the airport and as you walk out of the airport you uh, yeah, everybody would basically see this. There's actually a fairly large crowd of what looks like uh, journalists, like outside of the airport. And as soon as you guys walk out, you guys get like uh, uh, mobbed by them. There's just all these journalists who are shoving cameras and microphones in your face, <laughs> and they're like, they're like, is it true that Michael Way traveled from New York down to New Jersey to kill that poor family? No comment. No comment. Yeah, like, what do you do? What do you do? Uh, like, I think Joe Bear is good. Why is the FBI just... involved in this case, sir? Ma'am. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. I think Joe, Joe Bear is just going to lead and, and, and say, you know, that we, we are still investigating the affair between Michael Way and Dinah Ridgeway. We have no further comment. Okay. Oh, that's good. Just literally <laughs> put it, it out. in there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Amazing. We are, are, Wait, wait, wait. I feel like that's a little too out there. What if instead of a fair, if we just say we're still investigating what kind of relationship happened between the two of them? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Between Way and Dino. Between Ridgeway. Way and the fair. And the are, are you saying, ex excuse me, are you suggesting, and they turn, and then you actually, this is, you notice this person, Martha Grady. He's like this, like, kind of salt and pepper, well dressed, uh, oh gentleman he's like tan skin he goes enrico suave of, of six o'clock news um, enrico did, suave no <laughs> way what is this yo i feel like i've had a wet dream about that man with that enrico name suave. <laughs> no 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 it's not suave it's suave suave yeah but i bet i bet his nickname Damn it, i hate Reddit when is... missions do this or when when games do this to you and they they give you a name that you didn't think about until and then you say it and it just blows everybody's <laughs> minds because it's stupid or it makes them think of something Suave. oh it's not dumb i'm just saying that's a very like uh, reporter name and i bet yeah, like his... handsome reporter name yeah 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 but isn't that somebody enrico suave no, no fucking way. It, it is. It's like, I'm going to swap all that. Oh, there's yeah, Rico Suave. It was a one hit wonder. Yeah. But not Enrico Suave. Anyway, this it's is. He says, Enri Enrico Suave. The reporter's like, no relation. Of no six o'clock news. Did you just say that there may be a relationship between uh, Mrs. Ridgeway and, 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 and the killer? No comment. No comment. Can I jump in? No, ma'am. You just commented. Can you, just, can you just say that again? What my colleague was trying to say is preliminary investigations are still happening, looking into the link between the student, Michael Way of Columbia University and Dino Ridgeway, 43, of Alliance, New Jersey. <laughs> now, can you guys get out of the way so I can do my fucking job? Oh, yeah, let's push them out of the way because <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, we like, are yeah, big, like, strong people and we're front. gonna push through. Yeah, soldiers push the front, clear the path out a little bit, like, make way, make way. Um, okay, yeah, you guys are, like, pushing your way through, um, 
what skill maybe are you using to do that? Your athletics or, or your, your strength? I would say uh, either navigate or athletics. Yeah, maybe just to either athletics. slink through the crowd or just brawn everybody aside, you know, it's like security <laughs> guard style, like get out of the way, make way type shit. Athletics, get out of the way. That's yeah, I'm so. Yeah, athletics. If athletics is what it would be, I don't know what it would be. Um, yeah, uh, I don't need a roll. You guys have what did your guys' is athletics? 80 That's and 80. 60. 60 and 80, let's go. Yeah, so yeah, you guys are able to like kind of push these reporters away, and you can just like hear in the distance Enrico Save saying, Please comment again, why are the FBI on this case? Is there something more going on than what we think? And yeah, it's just like fate kind of fading into the background as like you're you kind of just get get uh, away from them, which is really nice. And you guys know that your car is like you know, Agent Kane would have told you that your car is in a parking lot, um, in the parking lot like across the way. I don't know how the hell Philly Airport looks, but car in the parking lot across the way. I don't know how long it's gonna take you to get to Lyons, fucking New Jersey though. You want to Google that? I'm going to Google map it, you guys. Isn't that yeah. crazy that we can do that? Someone roll the drive check to cut up in traffic the whole way, like 100 miles an hour, and we're going to get there. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's like a 45-minute drive. It's not too bad. Dude, yeah, Kinky Blues and the... Uh, yeah. And the Kinky Blues and the Escalade. And the Black oh. Escalade. <laughs> Um, okay, yeah, so you guys make it to your car, and now the ball's in your court. What is your first mode of, like, action? What do you guys want to do? What are you guys thinking? What are you talking about? Well, the guy said at the airport that he's got um, prepared identities for us and stuff, and also, like, all our gear is in the car, yeah. so I want to check my gear and, like, check what's been, like, set up for me. Yeah, so everybody in the car has access to kind of the standard FBI gear. There is um, Kevlar vests with the FBI logo on the back. There's um, whatever the FBI serve, like 9mm, I think it's a Glock. Um, what is the standard FBI service weapon? I was right, it's the Glock Gen 5 handgun, 9mm. No, so there, are, there are four in there. Um, I mean, you probably already have your own weaponry. You, you're, you know. I do not. I do not. Okay, so yeah, Agent Grady, would you do you want to go double wield? <laughs> Take somebody else's? You mean? Yeah, I mean, like if somebody else already, already has a gun, yeah. do they need to like? You... Yeah, I'll take two Glocks. Because right now all I have is. <laughs> Aging greedy <laughs> cell biologist. Because <laughs> um, right now I have bear mace and a pocket knife. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Dude, Nomi and I are Nomi and I are strapped up. So yeah. If Joe bad, Bear, do you need do you do you need a weapon? Off his trunk. Um, I'll I'll go with whatever the regular FBI issue is. I imagine it's a nine millimeter Glock, which is what oh, I yeah. have. That's literally what you have. So your service weapon is fine. You are kind of like. The closest to this world as a federal like a federal agent yourself right. um you're not a special agent of the fbi but you are a federal agent so you probably more than any one of them uh, any one of the others kind of knows that this knows this world the best you know you're gonna know, know how to navigate this world better than than probably the other people more or less true i also i i will point in right now i did totally forget that my significant other ex-lover mitzi martinez is with the fbi actually oh so i do know someone in the fbi i know a little bit what's going on oh my god i hope she's not assigned to this case oh my god <laughs> that would be ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> it would be so crazy it would be such bad luck <laughs> anyway um, oh no! <laughs> so yeah, so what's your plan? I mean, you're in the car, you're looking through your gear, you're like nice. Yeah, we gotta read our like fake identities. Is that yeah. something that is actually real that we have access to, or? Uh, no. Okay. I just know that you have like, there's a badge, an ID card, and there's like yeah. records for you, which you probably would keep in your car. 
He looked yeah. mad legit. He got all the badges and whistles. Oh, you know what else we would need in yeah. our little You kit? know it won't hold up to the most deep of scrutiny, but it is pre at the surface level, it's pretty legit. Like, there's, it's thorough, you know? We're supposed to stay low-key anyways, so. Um, all of the, um, <laughs> all of the FBI say. agents always have the those sunglasses so that there's a pair of dumb, gen like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, like, ironic <laughs> glasses. Oh, That's yeah. That's definitely in that Dark kit. Dark sunglasses <laughs> each. Yeah, yeah. There's the, like, classic FBI windbreaker as well. Um, and a toothpick. <laughs> yeah, there's... there's <laughs> oh, what a there's single. Yeah, there's a it's thousand like, it's pack like a of kid's, toothpicks. It's like a kid's FBI costume from like, <laughs> Halloween City. <laughs> yeah. Some, like, this is the best we could out. do under such short notice, okay? I mean, the... This is the best we could do already. Right? <laughs> Halloween City was... Oh, <laughs> COVID really hit the program <laughs> hard. <laughs> <laughs> it is COVID, by the way. Open, oh, it's true. Oh, yeah, it's like the thick of COVID. It's the thick of fucking COVID. Vaccines just around well, the corner, that. Agent Grady. Maybe that's also why you're under such stress at work. Yeah, and yet my boss was being a total bitch to me, even though we're besties. Like, what the fuck? I that was know. so confusing. You're episode. you're under a lot of stress. Oh. She's under a lot of stress to get these vac this vaccine research out. I mean, she's probably had death threats, you know? <gasps> wow. Because of like how she's like poisoning children. Yeah. I mean, they're warranted, yeah, but no. still. I mean, nothing is as bad as Fauci, <laughs> but like, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you're just. What about that name? Oh, what name? Yeah. Fauci. Fauci. Oh yeah, Doctor Fauci. Yeah, but he, <laughs> he's your, He's the true boss of you. <laughs> meme, meme, meme. Yeah, Fauci he is. Meme. He is my boss. Fauci meme. Fauci meme. Um, okay, so, yeah, you guys have your stuff, and, yeah, like, what's, what's your plan? Who's the so best we, at driving? Yeah, who's the best at driving, first of Gilbert. all? Definitely not me. Yeah. Yeah. Is, this Is this a, a boat? boat? <laughs> if it was a boat, it would be me. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'd have to roll to drive. Yeah, you don't have to roll to drive, you are a good there driver. So should we start at the crime scene or should we start at the university where I assume the math student Michael Way discovered this number somehow? I think we got to start at the house to, to um, eliminate all, all the evidence there. Because no one's going to his apartment, you know? More evidence to make the connection between Dinah and Michael Way. Yes. Yeah. If you lose the thing, we have to cover up all the numbers too. Yeah. I'm just worried that there's some crazy shit going on at the university. If he started there, some some sort of triggering event happened there that caused him to come out here. And if this number is lying on a chalkboard in the middle of Columbia University, we should probably go check that out. That's very. Yeah, we should funny. go there next. Yeah, I did not think about that. Because if a bunch of other math students see that number and they're all like, oh man, I'm going white Michael Way mode, you know, that's going to be a pain in the ass, guys. You don't want anybody else going the Michael Way. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh. Oh. Dude, plus one for Handler. <laughs> Thanks. I got, yeah, I'm gonna, inspiration. I'm going to mark that on my sheet. All right. <laughs> So, Whips. Should we should we like as a team rock paper? I don't know, guys. I we would just rock paper scissors on Seal Team to decide this shit. So like, what the fuck are you guys? <laughs> well, well, I mean, aren't we supposed to go there? Is that like the objective is to go there? There's a, the our our branch is forked though. We can either go straight to the crime scene where the murders occurred and do evidence cleanup, intel collection, and plant the evidence linking the murderer to the romantic interest, quote unquote. Or we can go check out where this may have originated from and clean up any possible more contaminations that could occur there. Yeah, we should go to the house because we just got sworn by. We can also split up. We could I was, split. I was up. gonna say, Joe, Joe Barrett would turn around from driving in the front seat, not watching the road at all, and hand uh, Waldorf another another cigarette and just say, "You do what Delta Green tells you to do." Oh. I mean, if you're giving me a cigarette, I'll take it, bud. <laughs> but like, if we're gonna split up, there should be a gun on each team for sure. And I mean, <laughs> spec up style. 
<laughs> so cool. <laughs> a smirk. So help me God, I will turn this car around, Joe Bert. Or, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna... <laughs> Joe Bert. Yeah, Joe love... Bert. Yeah, what Dr. Grady said. <laughs> Big fan of your work. Yeah. Joe Bert sounds like yogurt. <laughs> Got a yogurt. Either you let me out or I'm stealing a car and going to Columbia. Yeah, so you could split up. You need to acquire another car. That's one issue. It's not like crazy. You could rent a car super easily. That is true. Um, well, but I don't really want to split up the team so early either, just for my my sake. So if right, everybody right. wants to go along to the murder scene, I'll go with. But I'll grumble about it a little bit and I'll drag my cigarette in the back. Seat. No, and I agree with you that we should be going there very soon. But like, let's go to the crime scene. Yeah, yeah. We see where we're at. I'll probably do both. <laughs> Oh, yeah. we'll see. You know, we would need another vehicle, to go, right? Well, so. I go there and then, then, and then go to the place and then go to Columbia. Well, what's the time frame on going from Columbia to um, the South Jersey? Scotland? It's just a few hours. It a, few like hours. a few hours. In a few hours, half of Columbia State could be infected with this weird ass numbers virus. Uh, I do also want to say you guys know that you guys are were put up in a couple hotel rooms at the Motel Six in Alliance. Oh, great! Yeah. Motel Six. This could yeah. get any worse. Somebody, let me know. We're going to Alliance, boys. All right. Uh, angrily puffs cigarette and grumbles. <laughs> I mean, it makes it makes sense. Like it makes sense. You kind of have no, to go yeah. through there. No, I'm no, I'm just yeah. teasing. I'm trying to RP my grumbly. No, it's perfect. Dick. It's great. Um, all right, so yeah, you guys drive over. Um, Moving me down the highway. Moving you... me down the highway. Acosta, you notice that a news van is, uh, it's not exactly following you, but the, ch the, cha the Channel 6 News or whatever he said is, uh, or I think it's Channel oh, 21 it. News. Is that is... Enrico again? Is kind of following you, and and no, it's you can tell that it's not in Rico Sabe, but it is. That. Costa, get eyes on that van. Oh, I'm looking. <laughs> I, bitch, my eyes are already. I'm open. looking. Um, yeah, it's not it's not in Rico Sabe, but it it seems to be a um. Another yeah. one. A bald-headed guy, oh. earring in one ear, and yeah, he's like it. it you can tell that he's like kind of trying to keep up with you. I lose him somehow. Yeah, do you tell Joe Bear? Yeah, hey Joe Bear. Hey Joe Bear. I'm not making fun of you. Sorry, this is how just pedal to the metal, baby. <laughs> what are you? What are you copying me, Grady? What do you think that's funny? No, 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 I think that's funny. Thanks, sorry. Right. No, I just, I love the, the name. Uh, Joe Bird, give Brady a cigarette or something, man. No, nah, I'm, no, don't, I would, I'll kill myself, it's fine. Don't you want to, come on. Oh my god, I'd rather Fresh die. Pack, dude. <laughs> All right. So, so, Joe Bear, we gotta, we gotta lose this fan. Should I crack all right, all right. What what kind of road are we on? That's Enrico <laughs> Save. <laughs> oh my oh, god. Oh yeah. Like, I, I had a wet dream about him. Yeah, he's handsome news. Yeah. Yeah, right, right. I need to see. Wait. Wait, so what's the deal on Sigs inside, Dr. Grady? Are you trying to give us yeah. all cancer and me secondhand cancer? smoke exposure? <laughs> <laughs> Windows no, down. No, I got I got seven deployments under my belt. Something's gonna get us all eventually. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fine, whatever. I have a KN95 in my bag. I'll just wear it. Can I? Oh my god! <laughs> there, we <laughs> all collectively <laughs> roll our eyes. There's a lot of there's a lot of people at the crime scene. Can I actually get one? I'm kind of like I don't like germs so much. <laughs> I don't think the germs are going to take you out, but sure. Okay. Everybody should have one on them right now, guys. Oh, I'm sorry. There's, 
I didn't find one in my plate carrier. I was just wondering if I could like get an extra mask. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. You have an excuse, I guess. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm cracking my window. I'm sorry. <laughs> can, can we? I'm gonna can be... we put the gas on this news van? Are we? Are we? Uh. Yeah, we're gonna dodge. I don't know. Do you you want to give me a drive that? roll, Joe Bear? Yeah. See if you're able to uh, outrun this. This. We've got some great gang banter so far. Let's go! Dude, yeah. best possible result. Let's go. No, way around Let's around escalate, Joe Bird. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Joe Bear, you're like, this is a lot easier than the swamps of New Orleans. Someone's been playing <laughs> yeah. Um, And yet... Yeah, yeah, you're a, you like kind of see this like lane opening up where you can like kind of jump into and then like the traffic is gonna like block this news van and you just time it fucking perfectly where like you just totally like open up into this lane and then like get off the highway while the news van is like totally jammed up in, in some highway traffic like near the near the kind of like as you're leaving the airport and yeah you're able to get back you kind of take Take, uh... And we hear him honking nice. so mad. Honking yeah, yeah. Rage. <laughs> yeah, you can see him just like banging on this on the steering wheel as you like drive off. <laughs> yes, sir. That was, that was awesome. Um, also, so <laughs> yeah, that's actually really good. Um, critical success. I'm gonna tell you that this is gonna have that that because of the critical aspect. There is more benefit than you even know right now. Um, Are we making like extra time on the road now or something as well? Who knows? Yeah, yeah, so you guys get. So I assume you're still headed towards the crime scene? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so you guys um, head towards the crime scene. And when you get there, it's. God, what time is it right now? Because this happened. Yeah, here's the other thing It's it's got to be late at night. Um, or like, like maybe like 7 p.m. Okay. Yeah. Um, because this. Okay. I feel like I kind of fucked up the timing on this. It happened on October 12th. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So this happened at 2 a.m. Okay. And it is now the evening of October 12th. Okay. Okay. It's like around 6, 7 p.m. Yeah, around 6, 7 p.m. So this happened about 15 hours ago. Is that, is that right? Is there still, like, a, I'm assuming there's got to be still, like, a smaller police presence around the crime scene by now. They've had all day to do their thing. So yeah, so, amazing. yeah, so you guys are still headed towards the crime scene. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, right? Okay, yeah. You, like, spend the night kind of looking through it. Let's do it, yeah. Okay, um, somebody give me a luck roll. I don't care who, just somebody. Straight off the, you can go from your character sheet, right? Right off your um, stat. At, no, at the header. I got it right here. Nice. Oh. 68. <laughs> good good <Sorry>. roll. <laughs> so yeah, a luck roll is just straight 50-50, but if I ever want to like modify it in one direction, I'll either have you do like a plus 20 or minus 20 to that. Um, OMG 1D mentioned. In this case, um... Yeah, it was just a failure. So yeah, as you're pulling up to the crime scene, you do see that like a lot of the that you you would guess that a lot of the presence that was there earlier is no longer. And let me just pull you over to the crime scene. It's just a different change in scenery to get our brains going. Let me. Oh yeah, good scene. Oh yeah. Let's do this. Yeah, so you guys pull up. It's it's a little dark out. Like the sun is setting. Actually, the sun would have already pretty much set. Um, and you can see that there's like a few police vehicles just kind of like detailing the scene. It seems like that maybe is is typical. It's like you have state police officers just kind of like mm -hmm. keeping watch of the scene. And uh, and actually as. So yeah, what what do you guys do? How close do you guys get? You guys pull right up, like you own the place. What's your plan? Like, are oh, all of you? Oh, we've got these badges. All of you are FBI oh. agents. We've got this badass cover. Yeah, we're pulling up. All right. Is any of you pretending to be a math expert? We got a doctory person. I know, but <laughs> I did. 
Cell biology. <laughs> okay, but you must know some like. I have glasses. Than yeah, what? I have glasses. I took calculus. This, I failed this it. This will but work. Glasses. I remember words. Doctor title. This will work. I promise. We did this, this all the time. Employment. I swear to God. <laughs> I'm a data scientist, guys. If that's what I'm gonna say, I'm a data scientist. Just let me. Just let me do most of the talking. Or Joe Bird. Okay. He's yeah. French. They got away with words. Yeah, Joe Bird's the talker. Sure, then let her handle this, and I'll look tough like I'm your important security guard. Or Brady something. has the best um, charisma stat. Oh, oh, really? But, but, sure. I, you were so charming. Why don't? But you Joe Bear has better persuade. <laughs> so oh, it's kind of like persuade. about raw charisma versus like a trained persuasion skill. You know what I mean? I like would prefer Joe Bear. So. Yeah, Ada Grady. It did seem like the. Uh, it did seem like the. The reporters kind of honed in on you a little bit. Yeah, because I'm a hot woman. That's why I have charisma. But it's like, I'm still like mad neurodivergent and don't yeah. understand why people like me. Agent Acosta is also a hot woman, but she has. Yeah, rest, but she's very angry. Face, so yeah, yeah. She's, she's not made for Channel 6 News, you know what I mean? No. A sock anime girl is not enough anymore. What is the world coming to? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we're, we're into AI generated portraits now. So. Dude, it, it's so fucked up. AI, AI versions of like uh, AI porn. So much. Anyways, um, yeah. So you guys approach yeah. the scene. You get out in like your FBI gear and uh. Yeah. When uh when this police state trooper vehicle like it's got its lights on but not its like we use, you know, it's just got like its like stationary lights on and somebody not gets its sirens? It. What? You mean not its sirens? Yeah, it doesn't have its sirens on. We call it yeah, we you use. Said, you, yeah. you said we call we them use? we use in the business? Do you really? Yeah, I'm in the EMT, so I just thought. I thought you would have picked up on that by now, you know, being married to one. I've but... never heard you say that. Yeah, I'm joking <laughs> completely. I'm sorry. <laughs> because I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just like flip on the wheels. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's just industry stuff. Oh, um, yeah, so, so, this, like, pretty stocky dude who's, like, actually fucking pretty big for, like, a state trooper, like, steps out of the vehicle, and he goes, and, and he kind of, like, runs up to you, and he goes, hey, uh, you're, you're, you're the team? You're the, you're the oh. team that, uh, the, the group, the group, he like, kind of gets quiet, looks around at the group sent. Are you, uh, are you, what's his face? Thomas Blanett, uh, it's nice to meet you in official capacity. Oh, hi. Oh, yeah, Trooper Blanett, appreciate you uh, for filling us in here. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm glad you could come on such short notice. It's, oh, it's a real sickening scene in there. We're just watching it over for the night. I, I got myself assigned to, to tonight's detail because I, well, I heard you were coming in, and, and you know, I'm, huh, I'm a friend of the group. I think you guys know. He so obviously does not know anything. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. Kind of like, oh, yeah. Yeah, Joe Bear, like, you're human. Anybody with a little bit of human um, yeah. knows that, like, yeah, he's yeah. he doesn't really know what the hell's going on. He he's a metalman. On. Yeah, but he's being, like, he's being nice enough. Um, yeah, but he's just, yeah, he's clearly a career cop kind of guy. And, uh, yeah, he's just like, yeah, it's a real, it's a real bad scene in there. Um, he seems really proud that he's like part of the group, quote unquote. Uh, and he, he maybe sometimes says the group a little too loud and too often. Might want to curb that. Um, hey, keep your voice down, buddy. Oh, right, right. right. I want to. We're here to. Do, we're here to. Yes. Do no. Job. I'm just here to uh, to to uh, to receive the FBI. Um, well, actually, the FBI already got here uh, earlier, but you're the you're the team of specialists they sent, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Now. Yeah. 
if I can give you any warning, and he kind of like leans in, he's like, uh, that agent, that agent Canner, uh, I'd be careful around Canner, he says. Yeah, Agent Canner. I'd, I'd be careful around him. He seems like a real hard ass. Uh, FBI guys, he's, he's trying to lead the case right now. It's, it's a whole thing. Uh, I mean, my bosses say it's our jurisdiction, and their bosses say it's their jurisdiction. It's, above my pay grade it sounds real fucking stupid to me but we we all knew that it's the group's jurisdiction don't we i told you to keep your voice down all right <laughs> yes no, no i mean you're that. this is why they called you in you're the specialist right um i mean what do we look like here? oh huh? it, that's that's him now he's i thought he left but he's actually still here and that's your failed luck roll oh oh it's there um is that yeah agent canor is still here and and uh, it seems like he's like walking out of the house and he goes uh, officer who 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 are these is this is this the team and he's like yeah this is this is the team of specialists um uh well why don't you guys introduce yourselves <laughs> i don't i don't know you <laughs> i don't know you at all oh my god get out of here <laughs> No, uh, all right, I'll I'll leave I'll leave you be and 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 yeah, out of the house walks this dude. Um, do I have a picture of him? Might I have? What did you say? Agent Canner. Did you ask? I said, if please he's... make him hot. Please oh. make him hot. There's a hotness to him. All of these people were generated with AI, just so you guys know. Yeah, I was like, Enrico Suave, like, I was gonna ask you if you not Suave, it's Suave, okay? Sorry, it's Suave. (laughs) It's Enrico Suave, for sure. (laughs) I'm... Oh no, I showed you the wrong person. That's Sarah. No, they're all on there. They're all on there. Oh, I know. Sergeant, some of these people all... you don't know yet. <laughs> they're all hot. <laughs> Except for Marvin. Nah. He's Marvin's got beautiful eyes. Who's Marvin? He's a veteran. Those guys need to come with experience. I fucked up, you guys. We're not supposed to see all these people yet, okay? <laughs> You're only supposed to see oh, Special God. Agent Canner. So, oh, wait, so like lose a couple sanity for seeing Marvin? Yeah, you, like, you get <laughs> flashes of this man. Okay, Image there's special agent your brain all of a sudden. All right, yeah, damn, like what's good? All right, so that's him, and he goes, special agents. I'm uh, very glad you could join me, and uh, and and well. It's a real gruesome scene in there, but we've caught guys like this before. We're going to catch him again. You know that. Uh, well, this one caught himself. <laughs> but uh, let me tell you, if there is anything else going on here, we're going to get to the bottom of it. Okay. Uh, it's real strange, real unexpected. Doesn't seem like there's much connection between the... the... I mean, we've already had our team looking into it. We've already cataloged all the evidence. You're here to just uh, really just make sure that uh, there's nothing we missed, right? Well, and... actually, sir, uh, we have reason to believe that there was actually a pre-existing connection between the deceased victim, Dinah Ridgeway, and the uh, the suspect, also deceased, like you said. Oh, huh, you do? Way. That's very interesting. Um, nothing in our research popped anything up like that. Could, do you care to ex- explain how you know this? Oh, I don't think we're at liberty to share that information quite yet. At liberty to share. I am the lead officer. I'm the lead agent on this case. And <laughs> so yet everything there's goes through me. Information. As uh, I'm so sure there's... you're aware, there's classified information that you are not at liberty to see yet, unfortunately. Sorry. And then I wink at him a little bit. See if I can use my <laughs> cute woman charms. <laughs> and you are... Special agent Doctor Martha Grady and No, you special have a fake agent... name. <laughs> oh. oh wait, I'm oh I'm Doctor something. Uh I yeah, but I don't know because you didn't give us Yeah, you I know, but you, you can come up with it or Okay. Uh yeah, let me see. Doctor Arithra 
Clark. <laughs> Mathematician Clark. and special agent. Dr. Clark, I thought they were sending uh, a comics, uh, Agent Comics, for uh, as okay, a well, Jalen, you specialist. didn't give us fucking names. <laughs> no, that's yeah, no, 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 you're correct. You're correct. No, yeah, no, it's part of the thing. Yeah, yeah we saw remember you more. saw Agent Comics in the thing I didn't mean to send to you. No, I didn't see anything because you said don't look at it. Oh, <laughs> I didn't. I saw the faces, Aww. but I didn't really look at the names. That's so nice of you. Oh, that's that's good then. Right. Yeah. Anyway, Sorry. yeah, he's like, oh, I thought they were sending somebody else. Uh, oh, she got caught up with a family issue. I see. Well, uh, I'm staying at the Motel 6. Uh, I um, guess I'll see you guys around. Uh, feel free to take a look in there for now, but um, like I said, anything else that you find, it's it's all got to go through me, you understand? Uh, Joe Bear is going to step in. And uh, the crime scene um... closes at 9 p.m. <laughs> no. Joe Bear steps in. <laughs> what is he doing? Well, I was, I was going to step into that conversation really quick and uh, yeah, tell please. him that actually... We're, our special team is assigned to Agent Martinez, um, and she's working remotely for this case, you know, due to the, due to the COVID. Um, so we're actually going to report everything through her, and we're going to need to see all of that uh, all that uh, info you collected here, uh, just to get a, a proper uh, clarification on things. Maybe uh, see the connections you all are making. Kind of rub it in a little. Oh, oh absolutely. wow! Um, At least I wink. Yeah, give me a. Oh, I don't know, a persuade roll. Yeah, yeah. Fair. I think this is a warrants a roll because I don't know how he's gonna feel about this. I'd like to. Oh, definitely not good. Ooh, seventy-one. Did yeah. you <laughs> did you say that was uh, Agent Martinez? Because I've heard of no, no such agent. But uh, you know, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll call my bosses down at Quantico and see what they have to say about it all, and. Well, I'll see you tonight at the Motel 6, I'm sure. Yeah, that's where we're staying too, boss. All right. Oh, good. We gotta good. We can, uh, oh, you be you maybe we can have a here. beer and talk about what you found tonight, I'm oh sure. My God. It'll be nothing can more I, than like, what, what my I, agents... Everyone up real quick? <laughs> and he I gets like... into his car and leaves. Uh, he seems oh, a little suspicious I... of you guys. Okay, we're going to need to huddle up right back here. What, Sophie? Yeah. Listen, guys. <laughs> Listen, guys, that handsome motherfucker is definitely onto us now because we're, talk we're talking about, I mean, I mean, God damn it. Can we, oh, I mean, I'm at a loss here, guys. Like, our team cohesion is just a mess so far. We got to get our shit in order here. Now we got this very handsome agent who's going to call his boss back at the motel. I'm thinking, you know, there's an easy solution to this. Me and Noemi just swack him. And make it look make it look like it's uh, Tony Soprano and them. I mean, we are in New Jersey after all. Um, oh but uh, we're 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 in some uh, we're in some shit now. I feel because uh, he's gonna call people. We're supposed to be low key. We're making all these boasts. I think we should just get in the house or take whatever that guy's got. This is a cleanup job, not a mess making job. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh, yeah, so when he leaves, uh, Timothy Blanet, is that his name? Blanet comes back, Th Thomas? Thomas Blanet, yeah. Thomas Blanet comes back out, and was like, ooh, that was, uh, that was rough. I thought I was gonna be the one to give up the goat. But, uh, well, <laughs> like I said, you gotta watch out for him. I, I, I don't know, I think he'll be okay. Thomas, I'm sure, I'm sure he won't actually call his boss, right? Thomas, I swear to God, if you don't go over to that motel, and cut the phone lines and cut the Wi-Fi. Oh no, I... no, no can do. I, I'm a clean Planet, cop. Huh? Good record, Planet, you know. Planet, Planet, buddy. <laughs> I retire you... way too soon for something like that to happen. Planet, buddy. <laughs> Ruin it. <laughs> no, 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 no. But I'm a friend. Easy. I'm a friend to you guys, though. So please, uh, enjoy the crime scene. But uh, the crime scene done does close at nine. I could maybe buy you a few minutes. You know, you need an extra few minutes in there. Planet. I... Where to God? We can do this the easy way and the nice way, and you can keep on being little, little Tommy Blanet. 
I'm down the block. No, that's always been the deal. I don't do anything I'm not, uh, you know, comfortable with. Listen, I need to know what radio frequency that agent is using with his other guys. I want to start listening in on listening in on what they're saying. <laughs> this is a state police officer. He doesn't know what the fuck. <laughs> he just. <laughs> I it, do not know that information, uh, big guy, but, uh, well, I think you should get started. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. it's real fucked up in there, and, and if this has anything to do with the group, uh, I know they're gonna want you in there right away. Oh my god, enough about the group, let's just go look at the body. Oh, he's a group, and he goes back to his car. The group! <laughs> group. <laughs> 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 he goes back to his, his, uh, his cruiser, and yeah, what do you guys do? You guys cross the line, go on in? Hey, you fuckers. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Can I, can I low-key, like, sort of sneak around the uh, house and see? Well, I, don't, I don't need to sneak, I guess, but I want to Yeah, you could high-key walk around. I could, yeah, I mean, I could high-key. Yeah, yeah not you're here on official business. There's I like could, a um, steam light set up, you know? Like a, I, like worker lights, so it's not like super dark or anything. Can I hit like a search on Michael Way's car first off? He drove there. Yep, he drove there. Uh, his car would be here. Um, you absolutely can. Um, what's your search? 40. 40, yeah, so searching into his car, you... is That's like the first thing you do, right? Yeah, I mean, he got there in the car. There's got to be something in the car. Yeah, so searching in his car, um, you, there's there's not a lot. It's the car was kept pretty. There's there's a lot of like, kind of, trash of like energy bars. Um, but besides that, there's not like a lot of like personal effects in this vehicle. Um, just like what's looking, the mileage? What's the mileage on this vehicle? Uh, yeah, it's a four door sedan, Toyota Camry, so probably like nah, you know, what's, 30. How many miles? miles is it 9992202998989? Nine, 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 two, 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 <laughs> very, call. very good question. Um, Great question. Yeah, so are you looking in the car too? Or is it just. That's me asking uh, my coworker. Oh, you're asking me? I'll take a look yeah. at the mile. I'm also looking for any paperwork, identification. He was a student, so he might have books, textbooks, uh, studying material. Yeah, so, um, yeah, in there, uh, he doesn't have a lot of like personal effects, like I said. Um, yeah. It's, but what you do find is a bunch of shotgun shells, like messily poured over the stuff in the, a, a, and you find a box of shotguns, like a hundred shotgun shells. I don't know how many come in a box, but enough that there are a hundred. And most are unused and they're just kind of like strewn about the car in a very messy way. Hmm. All right. Anything in the trunk of the car? Uh, trunk of the car? No, nothing in the trunk of the car. All right. Um, yeah, mm. it's it's very it's very kind of blank in there. Um, but the the the, the shotgun shells are a bit disturbing. Is there around the crime scene? Usually they've got like an evidence table, unless those other FBI guys have all the evidence at their motel or something, or at an other location. Usually they'd have evidence somewhere from the scene from yep. a table somewhere. yeah is there yep. a yeah they're exactly that but that would probably be indoors right oh, okay like like a little center inside yeah somewhere like where the maybe the crime didn't actually happen in the indoor part where they can like set up a little area so that's like you know right separate from the public yeah. um yeah so do you guys walk in yeah yeah okay you guys walk into the house, and what you see is the remnants of what must have been just a gruesome, gruesome murder. You see, just immediately on walking in, just so much blood. There's blood everywhere. 
um, bloody footprints, bloody handprints. There's the tape around, like where they draw out where the bodies were. All the bodies have been taken to the morgue at this point. Um, uh, you could probably read a medical examiner's like preliminary report um, on on it if you look in the evidence. Um, so there's no, there are no bodies, but it's pretty much every like as soon as you walk in, there's bloody footprints, blood spatter on the walls. And like kind of just like every room that you're kind of like can just immediately see is there's just more and more. Um, and I'm going to need everybody to make a sanity check, except I think yeah. Agent Acosta. No, Agent Acosta doesn't have immunity to... Oh, 55 is a critical success for Clay Waldorf. Oof. 27 is a success for Noemi Acosta. Um, let's see how much. Your it is. was success. Uh, Martha was failure. I failed. Martha's feeling not great lately with all of the pressure of the COVID. <laughs> True. Like COVID. So, and the smoking in the car. And yeah. the smoking in the car really shook me up. So everyone what who succeeded if, take one that? sanity loss at just like the horrific scene. Brady, you fail. Give me one d four. Oh, you're close to your breaking point, Grady. Ooh, just one. Nice. So you got lucky. Even though you failed, you took the same amount as everyone else. Mm -hmm. Damn. So, uh, oh, nice, you did it. You applied it. Did everybody apply the minus one to their sand? Yeah, sure. I did. I'm sorry, Noemi, that that brought you down from 69. <laughs> uh, Damn. Kind of, kind of a bummer. But it was a bummer scene, so it makes sense. Um, Oh, would anybody like to project that sanity loss onto a bond? And so you don't take the sanity loss. You would project it onto a bond. Fucking fucking with a relationship. I'm good. Okay, everyone's gonna take it. Sophie, Grady's gonna take it. Mm -hmm. I'm taking it. Alright. Grady, if you get another one that gives you a D4, you could be at your breaking point. With one Yeah, I'm chance. aware. One <laughs> You might be getting a issues um okay so yeah this is like the first thing you see and then like as like the initial shock of like just the sheer amount of blood starts to wear off you like you see uh parts of the walls destroyed chunks taken out of furniture um you know chairs flipped over knives in the kitchen strewn about like Clearly, there was a struggle, but clearly, like, it wasn't, it was very one-sided. Um, what are you guys, like, doing when you walk into this house? What are you looking for? What are you trying to examine? Um, evidence table, or where oh, yeah, that is. yeah, evidence table. Thank you for reminding me. I really want to go to the evidence table, yeah. All right, so at the evidence table, um, there's a lot of, like, samples of, you know, various things, potential footprint, um, stuff like that, DNA, uh, you know, blood samples, stuff like that. There's like a little mini fridge for, 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 uh, what do you call it? Like biological samples. Um, kind of the most notable thing is the murder weapon is sitting there and it is a Remington 870. Ooh. Uh, here, let me share it with you. I've got a question after you do. Yeah, no problem. Did it show you all the evidence or did it just show you the thing I wanted to show you this time? Show I see the thing I wanted to show you this time. Just the pump action shotgun. Great, yeah, so... Um... I'm 
trying to think, like, what would you know about this shotgun? Um, probably Agent Acosta. You have, like, military science land. I'm trying to think what else this could be, like, to know, to recognize what this weapon is. So, yeah, I think military... Firearms. firearms. Yeah, firearms. Yeah, that's like your skill. I mean, you guys all recognize the wet at it as a, you know, a pump action shotgun, but I think... Yeah, I think, like, Joe Bear... I don't know. I think that firearms in this context would also imply, like, proficiency of, like, knowledge yeah. of the main arms of it. Yeah. Like, different stuff. But not just like the usage, maybe. But I don't know, just because of no. Include, I think like... you're right. Um, so yeah, you would recognize this as as a as a standard issue police shotgun, um, used in departments across the country. It does have a marking on the buttstock too. I don't know if that was intentional, but like that could be a armory number. That's pretty common with um. Yeah, stuff I mean, this is just off. The internet, but yeah, it's like it's got marking. Um, I'm just trying to RP, man. No, I, I, I like the RP. The <laughs> marking is very important. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's it. This appears to be the murder weapon. Um, it's it's like oddly, you know, just like it's it's just so strange how that thing like sitting there it looks all idle and like not hurtful but how much damage you can see all around you how much damage it did um mm. does anyone have like forensics i imagine you guys are just like combing the scene right i have a third be in forensics i was looking to see if there was anyone's cell phones on the table um, yep, there would be cell phones on the table, yeah. I'm looking for Michael Ways and Dinah Ridgeways. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's so clever. Um, yeah, you would be able to find all of that. All right. I would like to find those. <laughs> um, Michael Ways has a password. Dinah Ridgeways does not. Okay. Um, what would be... Okay. <laughs> what if this... We have an indigent system password. Yeah, that's a good question. Pasco. Is uh, it one... It's two... a four-digit Pasco. <laughs> okay. I was like, what if it's 9920229? What is... where his uh, thumbprints are on the screen most often. <laughs> oh, you could, try the, you could try the old breath on the screen trick, I guess. Yeah, yeah. What is that? You just breathe yeah. on the screen and you try to get the condensation from the fingerprint grease to show you where the recent, where the most frequent taps are. <laughs> it's an absolute movie shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down for you to try, but I don't think but it's going to... I was going to ask, like, what's what would be, like, a good correlating skill for, like... Because I have search, I have navigate. I don't know if there's any sort of, like, tech skill... Um, would it be like more like criminology? I don't really have much of that, so. Um, to, to like, to break into a phone? Or just to try, yeah, I don't know, to try to guess It would the probably past. be like computer science or something like that. Mm, um, like computer science. Sig int maybe to like guess a password or. I have no sig int. Yeah, mm. like a, some sort of like cryptology special skill or something like that. Um whatever the thing is cryptography um yeah it's gonna be hard to break into a phone but you do have dinah's i mean you could that's something yeah what about dinah's phone yeah that just pops right open she does okay so middle-aged you know i'm fucking i want to look at i mean I wanna... there's not much to hide it seems two things on the phone i want to see text messages and i want to see the calendar like what was she supposed to be doing that day or slash today if she hadn't been murdered um okay so yeah on the calendar you find just like a, a schedule for her to take medicine um she was supposed to take some medicine today not sure if that ever actually happened or not um text messages her whole phone by the way the text is like increased in size Oh, it's really uh, big. 
yeah, it's like really big. She was only like 45, but or whatever, 40. How old was she? 43. 43. Yeah. So, but still, Addition. yeah, she has her phone with the big, uh, with the big, <laughs> the big letters, and uh, yeah. she's just like texting her husband, and it says, and then like the last thing she sent to her husband was like, uh, uh, what does she say? Like, God loves you. Oh. Some religious shit. Oh. <laughs> yeah. God loves you and so do I. Religion. Aww. Yeah. Yeah. Kind, and he said, I love you very much, my dear Dinah. Aww. Aww. And it's like spelled all in caps. Oh. <laughs> yeah. These guys are like only. Old. Yeah, but they had six kids, you know what I mean? They're like full on gyms. Gym. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> I think you gotta just delete those messages real quick, <laughs> or create. It's, it, new it's like there's like a whole long thing of it like that. Like that's all they like text each other, and then there's I like also... various texts with her kids, like you know, blah blah blah. But there's nothing really like. There really isn't anything telling on there, like at all. Not on her phone. Okay. Well, yeah. It's good to know. If you want to like... plant something, you could do that, but. I mean, I would need to, for what I'm trying to do, I would need, technically, I would need Michael Way's phone number, and I would need to be able to send a message from his phone to her. Yeah, so, I mean, this is an idea, like, you could continue looking for ways to get <laughs> Michael Way's password. You know, it's not, like, impossible, but <clears throat> it's just maybe not something you could do right here, right now. Yeah, that's fair. Um... um I'm also gonna say, like, obviously, let's look for any traces of if this number is anywhere in the crime scene, like scratch, written in blood, maybe. Yes, or, like, you do know that. So you kind of know like what happened here. So from what the pe like the people have already kind of analyzed, and you could probably see this in like an evidence report. Um, what seems to have happened is Michael Way charged in through the front door and systematically shot one by the, each family member one by one and he chased down the last one who I believe was the 18 year old son chased him towards the highway um, shot him on the highway returned to the house and spray painted the letters on the pavement like not right in front of the house but near the house um, so you could go check that part out too like the 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 numbers uh, sprayed on the pavement. Okay. Um, does anyone have forensics though? I just want to like if, to do your own analysis I, on I the do. crime scene. Uh, yeah. Joe Bear actually does have some forensic experience. Um, it's small, the small amount, but it counts. Okay. Should I roll? Um, I think yeah, because you have it, you're gonna get something. But depending on the roll, yeah. So, so yeah, you don't. Yeah. You don't see a lot more than what they told, like what is already in the reports, just from this house. But you do what you do notice, and you basically are corroborating the reports that he seems to have shot um, sixteen times. Okay, uh, sixteen times, but one of the shots. You can tell, and this was also in the report, you can tell was not at one of the people. Um, one of the yeah. shot that wasn't at any of the people, and in the report it says he missed, but... What did it hit? It hit the oven. What's the Which... oven time? Or the, what's the number on the oven, if anything? Yeah, the oven, the time on the oven is 2.28 a.m. 2.20 and 13 seconds. It stopped on the... The clock stopped when it was shot. Okay. Yeah, app uh, apparently. Um, give me a luck roll, <laughs> Waldorf. How do I do that again? The luck roll is just at the top of your sheet. It's like the little dice icon, like at the full top header of your sheet. Next to the close button. 
Yeah, like near the close button. Oh, I see it. Um. Okay. Uh, I want you to give me one too, Joe Bear. Hey. Right. Okay. <laughs> Walder, if you're lucky, um, you kind of are just like looking at the time and all you kind of understand is that like yeah he shot the clock the clock stopped or he shot the oven the oven broke the clock stopped at that time that's consistent with when he committed these crimes when he committed this crime Joe Bear you notice that the time is embedded in the sequence of numbers that you were told. The sequence of numbers has been like kind of floating around in your brain, Joe Bear. Are you with the highest intelligence? I think out of any or wait, do you have the highest intelligence or is it Grady who has the highest intelligence? Grady has the highest intelligence. Well you guys but you guys both have high intelligence. So this number has been kind of swirling around in your brain. Um and Grady, I actually want you to give me this this luck roll as well. Because you said something interesting about the car earlier. Sorry. Sorry, I had my headphones on for one second. What did you say? I was just saying, I want you to give me a luck roll too, because you were kind of like asking about various numbers. Luck roll. Luck roll. Critical <laughs> success, Grady. So good. <laughs> That's actually really good for you. Yeah, you're not noticing any, like, weird connections or anything. What? Oh, I thought somebody said something. Okay, um... Yeah, Grady, you're just kind of looking around, and I think maybe it's, like, kind of failing that sanity roll earlier. It's just kind of, like, hard for you to take all this stuff in. This isn't really your forte, you know? Like, everyone else has presumably dealt with, like, fucked up situations before. But you're, that's not really your thing. Um as much so you're just like not really looking super into it but joe bear you're kind of like you know you're reading the reports you're looking at the oven and you see that the, this time is embedded in the sequence of numbers that was given to you earlier they've been like swirling around in your head and you notice that they're the numbers separated by two so oh jesus oh what was the time again 228 13 seconds a.m. Joe Bear, you also uh, notice that there are 16 numbers total. 16 shots out of the shotgun. 16 too. shots fired from the shotgun. Oh god. Yeah, you start <laughs> I, looking I'm around. I'm saying that out loud if I realize it. Yeah. Yeah, you start looking around and and you are starting to recognize a lot of these coincidences about you like look into the wallet of the father and his light and his like state license number is you know nine eight nine two three three and you just keep like you keep seeing this and i need you to give me a sanity roll i was gonna say no, yeah the i think that sounds a little uh like a sanity check. <laughs> that number's everywhere. Oh, Ooh, 97. Uh, yeah. yeah, so, like, Joe Bear, you're, like, looking and you can, like, there, you know, there's, in this evidence, like, area, there's, like, reports on the people's, like, tax history and stuff like that. And that's, like, your expertise. And you are kind, <laughs> yeah. of, a, are kind of a math guy. And you see that, like, bank accounts, mortgage amounts, uh tax return code no, like the codes on the tax returns like the everything is like you know you can just like see this like weird picture where they're like adding up and like subtracting to this number and it's like this number has something is something bad and give me a 1d6 yeah <laughs> okay. uh, hold on. okay i would like to keep my eye on joe burt low-key Ooh, just one. Oof, so, Joe Bear, how does this like one? How does this manifest to you? I, for for me, I would say you know, like I, I'm noticing it, and it's, you know, I'm able to shake it off because I'm just like, oh, you know, I'm obsessed with you know 
making it work, making the story work. Yeah. And, you know, making sure that, that I, I can, like, you know, look in their tax records, look through all these numbers to, to find a way to, you know, link their infidelity together. But I, I, I am noticing it, and I can't shake that I'm not noticing it. You tell um, your teammates? I, I do. I think I'm, like, kind of muttering it to myself. Like, I say it about the oven, and I'm like, oh, those are just the numbers, blank, blank, blank. And then I'm looking through the papers, and I may I'm not, like, saying every single number that I see because... You yeah. know, as it goes through, I'm getting, I'm getting more and more. Um, I'm wondering if I'm really seeing these numbers, you know? Yeah. Waldorf, you're kind of looking and you see it, this. When he, when Joe Bear, like, says this, you remember the the uh, the murder weapon. You remember the mileage in the car. The, they're, oh, the, they're the same. And they're embedded in the number. Oh and God! I what think was the mileage? It was. Where's the number? Um. Sorry, I lost the number. I had it right here. Okay. I should really just like have it like written really big. I have it up there. Yeah. Unless it's getting buried. Oh yeah, here it is. Here. I'll keep it on control C. Here, here, here. I have an idea. Oh nice. The numbers on the house. <laughs> we'll have to get some spray paint for that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the mileage is nine eight nine two one, which is the Lord. same exact serial number as the Remington eight seventy. I'm starting to see it too. Yeah, you're starting to see it. It's like it's not like you don't see all the connections yet, and that's why it's not like giving you this sanity loss. But yeah, and I think that's we're getting kind of late. I think that's where we're gonna end it for the night. Well pick up again yeah, um, and I'm, 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 uh, I've been infected by the numbers <laughs> hey uh, Agent Kane said watch out you know be careful I like that it's a good end cap I'm starting to see it too <laughs> TWO because there's yep. so many twos two, <laughs> two, 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 nine, nine, eight, nine. what huh Huh? Two? Okay. I was gonna start two. asking if the ages of the victims add up to any certain numbers too, but then oh, I was like, Jesus. <laughs> uh, they might. Don't try to see <laughs> patterns. You're not supposed to try do. to find patterns. <laughs> they might. I, I can't. <laughs> but you, you know, the oven and the, the car. No. The, but the Five, shotgun. Six, doctor. Seven. Four. Zero. Twenty-four. This isn't no, happening. there's other numbers. Think about other numbers. <laughs> <laughs> and our camera fades Imagine out numbers. as you guys are trying to like... J.G. Wentworth. What is it? Sam, sing it with me. J.G. Wentworth. <laughs> Nine nine two zero two two. No. No. I made that. Three. One two three three. All right. <laughs> Numbers.